Okay, we should be live, and I've got the latency set to low, so there shouldn't be too much of a delay from when you guys start hearing my voice. Sorry about that. I moved everything around. I had no video, and I realized it's because I didn't have the HDMI cord plugged in. Um, don't know where my chapstick is, so there will be mouth noises. How are you guys doing? Is it hell for you two? I, I hope not, but yeah. Trying to watch it on your laptop, but the Wi-Fi is bad. Oh no. Well, I promise you're probably not going to miss too much. Um, it's a point and click game, and I think it's pretty short too. When I was looking for thumbnails, I saw, I think Manly Badass Hero played it, and his video was only 50 minutes. But I am very slow, so maybe we'll have double that. Who knows? Hope you're healthy and stay healthy. Yeah, I'll be honest, I've got a temperature of like 100.1. I've had that for the last couple weeks. I don't know if it's uh, you know what. I doubt it because I haven't been coughing, but ugh, it's been so freaking hot. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay, uh, let me get everything set up. Run the game. Yeah, so this is uh, called Football Game, and it's actually by the guys who made... Actually, let me just pull up the blurb. We can read that for a second here while you guys are getting settled in. It's a short, new Lynchian point-and-click thriller from the creators of A Date in the Park. And I actually did play that game and record an episode, but I was too lazy to edit it, and you guys never saw that episode. Sorry about that. Um, this is why I like doing stuff live. Even if I make a lot of mistakes or choke on my words, there's no way for me to just delete it out of frustration. So I know a lot of people, I, actually, I don't know. I know some people prefer the pre-recorded stuff, but live really helps me in that I don't destroy things when I'm unhappy with them. Don't say the C word. I don't think I did. Oh, I did say COVID. Um, okay guys, what's a good way for me to, for me to say our, our favorite, uh, beer waifu? What are we going to call it? What's a, what's a good, uh, substitute name? All right, okay, anyway, here's the story. East Bend, Purchase County, 1987. You are Tommy, a local high school football hero in the town of East Bend. It's uh, game night for the Purchase County Turbines, and your sweetheart is waiting in the bleachers. However, something is amiss. Join Tommy for a night you won't forget. And that's where we are here. Pacifico, name it Craig. Cooper? I just flashed back to Ginger Orphan Playhouse with that name. Core? Hmm. Cora, I guess. Will we ever get a face reveal? No, and thank God you won't. <laughs> Eat chili with habaneros in it. You'll sweat it out. Hmm. Too bad I'm on quarantine. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and get it running. It just doesn't take... ...down. Make sure it doesn't blow anyone's eardrums out. Okay, how's the background? Here we go. Now it should pop up on the screen. There we go, there we go. How does that sound? Uh, I don't think there's actual voice acting, so it's just gonna be music, so we don't need it too loud, I don't think. Wait, your profile pic isn't you. Profile pic on YouTube? Uh, that's, um, what's your face from uh, Uzumaki, Kyrie. I, I made one myself, but I've had it for so long, I kind of, I'm hesitant to replace it. So, yeah. Welcome back. Yeah, glad to see everybody. I hope everybody's doing okay. Hope you and your families are, uh, you know, pretty safe. Does that look dark? Can anyone see the eye in the background above the mirror? I think it's too dark. Let me go ahead and raise the gamma. Wait, how do I do that? Oh no, I've forgotten everything. Uh, filters. Yeah, filters, I think. You'll thank me later. Yeah, I've learned. It only took me five years, but I learned the key is not to raise the brightness. It's to raise the gamma, I think. Someone who knew what they were talking about told me. Where do I go to do that, though? Color correction? Yeah, here we go. How's that looking? A little bit better? You can see the eye now, kinda. And when I click out of the screen, the music stops, so that's what that is. Okay, I don't want it too high. Okay, should be good. I'm just stalling. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, okay, we're good. We're good. It's a face. Yeah, it's something. But it's an eye just overlapping the top of the mirror. So? 
East Bend, Purchase County. I wonder what state this is supposed to be. 1987. I think it's supposed to be generic small town, 80s, 90s kind of uh, thing. Oh, okay, just right into it. I love the sound of an alarm, just doesn't trigger me at all. Oh, I love the pixels. This looks great. Those beers were strong. I dozed off. Aren't you in high school? I need to get ready to meet Susie. Oh, it's Susie with a Z. Man, I don't know about her. Are you ready for some football? Yep. I better get rid of those bottles before Mom sees them. I wonder what kind of beer he was drinking, guys. Anyone want to offer a guess? Left click to interact with Tommy's world. Right click on things to observe Tommy's world. Inventory items can be seen by moving your mouse to the top of the screen. Some items can be combined. Okay, so those are the basics. Quarantina, <laughs> good one. Uh, diet beer, obviously. Mike's hard lemonade, hmm. What was the, uh, I don't know if this dates anybody, but what was the like quintessential 1980s beer that everybody was drinking? Anybody know? My drinking this afternoon got a little out of hand. I get nervous before big games. Well, I'm sure a hangover isn't going to help you. This is a football boy out of a John Hughes movie. Yeah, wait, John Hughes. Uh, he's the one that did Planes, Trains, and Automobiles and Home Alone, right? I think. Chainsmoker? The Ruiner of Sleep. Yeah, I hate him too. There ain't nothing I hate more than the sound of this alarm. All right. Is there no background music? This is making me a little uncomfortable. Um, a, a poster of my favorite band, Jupiter C. Love their wobbly synth on their records. It's gnarly. Okay. These are all my photos of Susie and I. Pabst, Light, Duff, Bud Light, Coors. Oh yeah, we should call it Coors. The Coors, uh, you know what. This is one, or this one is my favorite. <laughs> yep, you guys are just as faceless as always. It's Suze and I at Tremond Dam Lake, our special spot. High school sweethearts. We've had a lot of good times there. Susie's friend Norma took this picture. I think that's the nicest thing where childhood sweethearts can actually, you know, get married and have a, a real relationship outside of high school. That doesn't seem to be the case 90% of the time, but when it does happen, it really does seem like true love. Purchase County Turbines, my team. Go Turbines! <laughs> okay, guy. Um, now that drawer is full of old comics I used to read when I was a kid, mostly Marvel stuff. Marvel? Come on. DC for life. Behold, my sock drawer. That's my underwear drawer. I don't need to change them. Behold my sock drawer. I don't need to change them. I keep them in there. It might be worth something one day. My backup plan if I don't make the National League. Hmm. You guys think they're posers? Yeah, well. You're convinced Susie is a killer? I don't know if there is going to be a killer. Maybe this guy just goes nuts. It said this was based off of, like, David Lynch stuff, and you never know what to expect. Oh, no, don't. I've already seen the picture. Thank you. Great. Cool. Okay. Um, I got this trophy for being best quarterback in the league last season. I'll leave that on the shelf. Too precious. I got MVP at our match against the Kingsport Raiders last year. Susie and I drank beer out of it. Amazing times. It's too precious to handle. I keep all my old toys up there. I can't bring myself to throw them out. I know the feeling. I don't want to change clothes. I'm happy with what I've got on. My Purchase County high jacket looks slick. Okay. I like my little window. Keeps things nice and private in here. People can't see me from the outside. Wait a minute. Are you in the basement? Do you, do you live in the basement there, bud? Yeah, I tried climbing out this window once. I got stuck and mom grounded me for a week. He is in the basement. Oh, man. A poster of my favorite band... Boombox. Dad bought me this boombox. It has two decks. I can record mixtapes for Susie. She loves them all. Mixtapes. Cool. Let's see. Shit's gonna go south. Yeah. I feel like this is the calm before the storm. I'll stay up all night listening to the radio just to record the right song for her. 
Oh, good, some background music. I wish I'd played that before. B, oh, the batteries are dead. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. More clothes, football stuff. Don't need to dig around. Oh, and just in case no one, uh, or people didn't read the description, I, I haven't checked email or Discord or anything um, in the last couple months. I'm behind on that. I will try and go through here sometime this week. It's just, uh, I kept getting sick. Things have been weird. So it's a little bit, a uh, little bit uh, hectic. But I did want to take some time out just to try and stream at least a couple times this week. My trash can, it's full of trash. There's just trash in there. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and just hide these bottles, I guess. Can't put them in the trash can because they'll be pretty obvious, right? Let's, uh, sock drawer, right? Okay. That's a strange idea. Well, what? Your mom's gonna see him if you put him in the trash can. Okay, fine. Grounded. 80s with no synth? Please. Maybe it's just setting the mood. I hope. I need to shave. Susie hates it when I have stubble on my face. Okay, sure. Squeaky clean, wash basin, basin, basin. Oh, great. Love that. Not uncomfortable at all. Mom must be leaving this here to dry. Not time for a bath. I'll leave that there. Okay, I didn't mean to click on that again. That's enough. That's enough. Baby face is what you said. Yeah, he does kind of have a, a little bit of a baby face. At least we don't have to watch him shave it, right? I really wish there were some background noise. Oh, thank you. Love that view again. You're tickling my face, Tommy. Be nice and shave next time, please. I'm sorry, Susie. It's just that, well, I am a man after all. Oh, damn it, Tommy. You're a boy, a stinky boy who doesn't know how to look after himself. Gee, that is some romantic, uh, romantic chatter there, Susie. But you love me. Well, I do love you. Okay, weirdos, let's get to the horror, will we? Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> You're tearing me apart, Susie. Okay, well, I guess we'll just leave and never speak of that again. What's in here? Oh, we don't live in the basement. Why are our windows so high, then? That's weird. Mom keeps some baby pictures of me on the fridge. I was pretty cute. There's no such thing as cute babies. My best friend after a hard game, frozen peas do wonders for a bruised body. Mom is washing up some dishes. Did I sleep through dinner? Cutlery and towels, shiny and clean, food stuff, food stuff. Mom's washing dishes, fruit bowl, apples. I try to eat as much fruit as I can, keeps me healthy and strong. Well, isn't he a good guy? Hey, Mom. Oh, boy. I don't know how to tell you this, man, but your mom's face is a potato. Hi, darling. Did you have a good nap? Well, sure, Mom. Say, you're looking nice. You shaved. You must be making an effort for someone. Don't be silly, Mom. I'm just heading off to the game. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Your dad is going to be home soon. He'll need the car. Mom, and is that alcohol I smell on your breath? Oh, so freaking busted. Should have brushed, too. Uh, no. Okay, guys. So here's our first choice. Uh, I'm going to get a sip of water. And where did I put that? What do you guys want to say? Should we own up to it or just kind of lie? She's high-key hot. <laughs> you must like potatoes. <laughs> uh... Wow, we've got some uh, truthful uh, people here in the chat. All right, we're, gonna, we're not going to lie to Potato Mom. Who knows what she would do to us? Yes, sorry. Tommy, darling, we've been through this. I won't do it again, or I will drink when I want. 
What? I was expecting everyone to lie. Yeah, I was too. The chat I've learned is usually weirdly mature um, compared to, to most stream chats. Be a good boy, number one. Yeah. To be honest, I don't know if there's multiple endings or not. There wasn't in A Date in the Park, so I'm, I'm not going to guess that there is. Hopefully, if we act stable and responsible, we're not going to go crazy. I don't know who's going to go crazy or who's going to kill who, but I don't want it to be us, so... I won't do it again. You tell that to your dad. So, I can't take the car? What do you think, Sunshine? You are not going to the game tonight. You've been drinking. Well, we're clearly not drunk, though. Mom, you heard me. Now let me get on with these dishes. Ooh, that's serious. This kid is the... Isn't he like the star player or something? Quarterback, something? That's usually the, the stereotype, right? I need to get to the game. Susie's waiting for me. Can't you just call one of your buddies or the coach or somebody? Because, I mean, it's everybody's best interest that you play, so. All right. The couch looks... I don't know. Hmm. It's a landscape painting. I think it's the Grand Canyon. It doesn't need straightening. Speaking of canyons, did you hear Meat Canyon got his uh, Wabbit season... Um, struck down or I guess copyright claimed or something by Warner Brothers. Crazy timeline we live in. I don't have time to sit around. Gotta get to the match now. Susie and I have spent a lot of time sitting here watching old flicks. We love those old horrors from the 1930s. Wolfman is her favorite. Let's see. Meat Canyon? Yeah, he, he's, um, he's that guy who takes, like, nostalgic stuff and then draws them all wibbly-wobbly and gross and creepy. He's done one for Pinocchio, Courage the Cowardly Dog. One of his more famous ones is the Ed and Daddy one. Uh, 25 cents for paradise or something like that. Uh, recently he made one, um, uh, involving Bugs Bunny and, I guess, Warner went ahead and, and struck it as their content, which is absolutely ridiculous because everything there is drawn by him and very unique looking, if you know what I mean. My favorite is Dracula, although the ape man comes a close second. And they claimed it as their own content, which is weird because Bugs was kind of a rapist in that in that short animation, which means they've claimed that's their content, which means canonically Bugs Bunny is a struggling rapist. It's weird. It's so funny, but weird. That's where we keep our VHS tapes. That's where we keep, okay, mom keeps all of our VHS tapes. Oh, a jacket. It's one of mom's jackets. Throw her jacket on the ground. Assert dominance. I don't know if you can still find it, but if you YouTube Wabbit Season and then, like, maybe Meat Canyon, I know at least one other person has uploaded it, or maybe it's already been taken down. Uh, he's got a Ronald McDonald one, which I would actually recommend watching that one to get a, to get an idea of what the hell, <laughs> what the hell he does. Dad's old hat. He used to wear it in the winter. All right. Oh, leave house. Let's try going upstairs first. You know what? Wait, I think I hear something. Okay, there is back. Has there been background music this whole time and I just couldn't hear it? The problem is maybe it's supposed to be really quiet and by turning it up, the jump scare is going to be really loud. I don't know. Take a couple drips. Um, what was that one line? I got a 93 uh, Toyota Pontiac Paseo in the parking lot. It was so funny. That whole, that whole flick is just really funny. This is a picture of a Beaumont Peak, Purchase County's most well-known mountain. Burr, it's so cold up there. Reminds me of the time Coach Funkhauser marched the team halfway up to the summit. Yeah. He also did one for Rugrats, and, um, what's his name? Oni, not Onision, Oni Chris, the guy who did Leo and Satan. He actually voiced, um, uh, Chucky's dad. I couldn't tell until I looked at the credits, to be honest. But he did a good job. I don't really want to go in there. Mom's and dad's bathroom. I'm not allowed in. Why would you not be allowed in your mom and dad's bathroom? You're like 17. This is the door to mom's bedroom. It's locked. I don't know why. Oh my god, our parents are the killers. That would explain why he doesn't ever go into any of their rooms. I played a game like that. It was a trick-or-treating game where you had to like assemble your own costume and you end up finding a secret room and it turns out your parents are serial killers and they've been killing people. Did anyone play that game? It was like an old Flash game from like 2009. Crazy stuff. Mom waters the plants in the house. I stay out of it. Some kind of fern? Okay. Well, we're done here. Steal the car. Knock the mom out. <laughs> 
The whole house is lit like a prison. Yeah, why is everything dark in here? Oh, wait, what was that one door? Oh, that was a bathroom, duh. All right, we are leaving. We're gonna jog our way to the game and then be too tired to actually perform. Hey, mister, don't even think about it. I guess we're going out the window. Hey, mom. Okay, I need to get to the game. Would you like me to help with the dishes? Too late to suck up. How was your day? Okay, let's 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 just try with a little hey, how you doing? How was your day? Oh, all right. Let's chat later, hon. I want to get these done, okay? Sure, mom. Would you like me to help with the dishes? It's okay, hon. I'll be finished soon. Then I'm going to put my feet up with a nice tea and relax. Well, I can't say I didn't er can't say I didn't ask. Am I a real boy, Papa? Yeah, that Pinocchio one was freaking weird. Ah, uh, it's never too late to suck up. <laughs> yeah, I need to get to the game. Tommy, let it go. You are not leaving this house. Mom, that's the end of it. We'll talk later. All right, out we go. How are we going to get out? I mean... It's not like he can't fit. That's clearly wide enough. Hmm. Hey, what's the name of the game you mentioned? The one with the costumes and killer parents? Oh, God. It was like Halloween Adventure or Trick or Treat Adventure. I actually I actually went ahead and downloaded it um, because I heard they were killing off Flash. So I do have it downloaded. Um, if you stick around or, or, or message me, I can probably find it. But it was like, um, if you Google Flash game Trick or Treat Adventure or something, and it's got a kid with like freckles and red hair, and it's kind of pixely and point and click, that's the one. It doesn't play into, like, a plot line or anything. It's just like, wow, that's weird. And then it continues on his quest to go trick-or-treating. It's it's weird. It was a good game, though. I remember that. Okay, maybe we can get out of the window in the mother's room. Maybe she hid the key in a plant. I cannot already be stuck. I'm such a freaking disgrace. Can I save at least? Nope. Escape does nothing. Oh, menu. Wait. Okay, good. I better do this before I mess something up. <laughs> um... There we go. Sounds familiar, but not really. Um, yeah, it's uh, it was just one of those flash games that came and went. We're not gonna have to kill her, are we? I'm already stuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, kettle. Kettle's in the process of boiling. I get it, we wait for it to boil, then we make our escape. Oh, wait a minute. It's the keys for the car. That was complete accident. <laughs> Thank you for letting me click on that. Check the TV. Oh, that's just Chernobyl, no worries. Oh wait, mom hates it when I mess with the volume. I've learned to leave this alone. What is that? Is that a shore of a lake? Oh, that freaks me out a little bit. Just put her to sleep with a blunt object. I was thinking grab the kettle and knock her out with it, but... Because you never know what to expect in these games. Why does that look familiar? Is this from some 80s show? That looks like something. Huh. <laughs> Just got to put some 80s music to that. Okay, there's nothing else I can do here. Hey, mister, don't even think about it. Mom, you gonna get that? You gonna get that? It's gonna set off my tinnitus. Go ahead and get it, would you? Kettle has been boiled. It's ready to make a soothing tea. Oh, we're buttering her up, not killing her. Okay, well, that makes much more sense. Hey, Mom. Talk later. Looking empty tonight. Some cheese, some milk, some ham. Nothing exciting. I don't need any frozen peas right now. <laughs> Sounds like it's going to explode. Do kettles actually explode? I mean, if you don't do anything with them? I mean, I guess it's got a way to let off the steam, but is it is it like a fire risk if you don't get it? 
Okay, can't cook. Susie's gonna teach me to bake cookies one day. Okay. What else can we do here? We've got the car keys. Now we can go out the window? And uh, no. This needs batteries, but I haven't come across any. Poison the tea? You put your tea in the refrigerator? Uh, we can try it. I don't think we can touch it, though. Maybe the plant? Pour boiling water into the plant? Uh. Okay, she wanted to put her feet up and have a nice... Oh, tea, food stuff items is in the cupboard. It's nice when I use my brain. I don't want to drink. Stacked up nicely. Box of cereal. Weedy bites. They're okay. I don't want to eat cereal. Boxes of pancake mix. Oh, wait a minute. First thing in the morning. I thought he just had a nap and woke up and he has to get to the game that's starting soon, but... Oh, wait, it is. It's a morning thing. Not... It's morning. Okay, I didn't look. Pancakes. Okay, so not this cupboard. Maybe this one. Cool. My mom loves her world's best mom mug. Well, she's not being the world's best mom right now. How do I get out of this? Okay. Last but not least. I don't want to carry around cans of tomatoes. Sure you do. Pasta sauce. It's a box of just add water, macaroni, and cheese. I make these for my lunch on weekends. Sugar, flour, stuff like that. Chocolate cake. Okay. Booth tea. I've taken a tea bag. It's herbal tea. Mom's favorite. Cool. Okay. Now we can poison the tea. Just kidding. I'm, I'm sure we're just doing the nice thing. I've put the tea bag into the mug. Okay. Now we break it over her head. You haven't put any water in there. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fill her mug with mac and cheese. <laughs> I made a st uh, steaming hot tea. Here you go, Mom. You should take a rest. Oh, darling, my favorite mug. A nice warm tea. You really are the best, Tommy. I love you. Love you too, Mom. I'm going to sit down for a minute. Oh, God, we did drug it. She's out. Hey, Mom. How was your tea? Mom? She's drifted off into a daze. I worry about her. That's, yeah, that's not a good thing. She's not supposed to be comatose. I'm sorry I was drinking. Mom? Talk later. <sighs> We've got some issues. Okay, um... Any letters for us? There's nothing in here. Mom must have already gotten the post this morning. Okay. Garage door. Guess we can't just walk off into the night. The car is parked up out of the street. Mom usually keeps the car on the street. Dad's tools live in the garage. Oh, okay. So we just have to keep going, I guess? No? Which way do we go? Red rum? Wait, who saw red rum? <laughs> Oh, no, somebody's name. Okay, okay. I need to get to the game. Well, where's the freaking car? There it is. The car's locked. Yeah, go figure. Finally, some football. What? How could I forget Susie's gift? I think I left it under my bed. I can't click, it's it's kind of an auto-run thing here. Okay, fine, back in the house we go. I'm sure nothing scary will happen. Kind of weird to have a coupe as a family car, is it? I don't know much about cars, but I hate it when they don't have four doors. So freaking awkward. I didn't mean to click on the fridge, I'm just trying to get to our bedroom. I was going to play Clean Suit or Hell Knight, but I wanted to pick something slow burn so I could look at the chat and kind of talk to you guys a bit. So it is a bit slow, but, you know, this way you can have it on in the background while you're doing your corn, um, you know, what, um, chores, duties, you know, 
all that stuff you've been meaning to do but don't have the free time to do and now suddenly you do have the time to do it, this is good for the background. Hey, it's a, uh, what is that called? A hand egg, right? Was it not in here? It's not there. I don't understand. I'm sure I hid the box here earlier. Mom, she must have found it. I bet it's in her room. Why would your mom steal your present? She's not just going to find a present under your bed and be like, ooh, this is mine now. What kind of twisted family is this? Complications, complications. I'll say. Greedy potato mom. Dad's going to be dead in the room. Oh no, mom's door is locked. There must be another way I can get into her room. I know Susie's gift will be in there somewhere. Maybe in through the bathroom? Well, chances of mom putting Susie's gift somewhere in her bathroom are pretty slim. I'm willing to bet it's in her bedroom. Well, I thought they might be connected. Sometimes they do that. Who locks their, their bedroom door in their house? Oh God, it's going to be in our pocket, isn't it? She did it so you cannot escape while she's in a coma. <laughs> that is really messed up, though, to, to steal a guy's present that he has for his girlfriend. Hey, Mom. Why did you lock your room? It's no use. She can't hear me. God knows where she has put the key. I'm not going to go rummaging around in her pockets. Talk later. Okay, she's got to have hidden it. <laughs> Now's not the time for baking a cake. Okay, it's always time for baking a cake. When she wakes up, just her pockets are filled with macaroni. <laughs> ah, the best revenge. Okay, wait, fruit bowl. It's too conspicuous. Nope. Freezer? Plant. I'm not gonna go dragging this plant around. Loot mom, I tried. He doesn't want to dig around in her pockets. Hmm. Oh, God. Aw, sure shots, Reef. 20 buckaroos. Thank you very much. Thanks for being you. Yeah, you too. Again, um, or no, not again. I haven't said this yet. I was thinking about it, though. Since it is, um, quor am I allowed to say quarantine? Since it, whatever. I don't care if I get demonetized. Um, if it is, uh, since it is quarantine, make sure you guys have enough to, like, keep yourselves fed and, and, you know, have enough supplies, because I do know some people are getting let go, um, from their jobs or just being, you know, kind of, um, given suspended leave if that's a nice word for it. So make sure you guys have enough to take care of yourselves. And again, donation, just don't even worry about it. Um, drink the tea and ask her in her dream. <laughs> what the F is that? Um, I think it's a sticker. I know YouTube has been making stickers and stuff. I don't know much about them, though. I don't know if they are supposed to appear on the screen or just in the chat. Um, I, again, I'm, I'm really, I'm like an old man. I don't know much about this. But again, thank you again so much. Can we sneak? Oh, the garden. That's a good point. Okay, garden it is. Yeah, sweet idea. Oh, we have a dog? That's a weird looking dog. Boy, Tommy, it's a wreck. I know, Dad keeps saying he's going to fix it. I guess I'm too old for tree houses anyway. Are you high, Tommy? Think of the fun we could have in there. Susie Cooper, you are my girl. You know it. Dad. Come fix the treehouse, please. Shouldn't you be fixing it with him? You're not ten. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, concrete block. Mom ties Toby's leash to this sometimes. It's super heavy. Hey, Toby. Oh, I swear to God, the dog better not be dead. I'm gonna be so sad if it's... Toby, here, boy. Please don't let the dog be dead. He must be sleeping, lazy little guy. Toby lives in here, the prize pooch. Sure, I could try and climb up the dog kennel to reach Mom's window, but with it being Dad's construction, I think it would fall to pieces. Okay. Treehouse it is. If the dog is dead, I will riot. Yeah, exactly. There's no way I can climb up the trunk. It's too wide and smooth. <laughs> okay. Um, 
I can't reach it from down here. I spent a lot of time up there when I was a kid. Dad built it for me. Well, maybe there's a ladder. Oh, she said the tools, or he said the tools were in the garage, right? So... Uh, maybe we can find a, a ladder in there. Yeah, there's something really, um... Keys with the car keys. Okay, there's something, there's a, there's an atmosphere of dread here, even though technically nothing has really happened. Like, the only negative things that have happened is that, you know, we're drinking, we can't go to the game, and our mom is kind of in a daze, and our dog isn't coming out of the kennel. Like, nothing concrete, but... You could never have enough rope. Yeah, it isn't a point-and-click adventure game. But there's a, a definite atmosphere of uh, unease. How long have we been recording? Okay, 40 minutes. I guess at the hour mark we'll take a break. They are full of moldy old newspapers. I'd probably get the plague if I touched them. No! Shh, you're not allowed to say plague! Hammer. Dad's old hammer could be useful. This cabinet has always been locked. I have no idea what is inside. It's locked. Okay, well, time to unlock it. Why are there so many things he doesn't know or he hasn't seen in his house? Yeah, it has been 40 minutes. It's weird. Time really flies when you stream. The keys don't fit here. Okay, something's up. Our family's a serial killer family. I know it. The shelves are full of old carpentry manuals, paint, and other odds and ends. Nothing useful. Okay. All right, away we scoot. Chad's house sure is a mystery to him. Chad. We should just call him Chad. Fits better than Tommy, anyway. There we go. That's not going to support my weight. The other end of the rope is completely loose. I mean, you could tie it together. All right, fine, fine. Right here. I would need to move the concrete block a little closer. Okay, picky, picky. Don't hang yourself. <laughs> this is all an elaborate plan of revenge just to hang ourselves in the backyard <laughs> because mom wouldn't let us go to the game. Maybe I could tie the other end of the rope to something? Yep. I would need to move the concrete block a little closer. I'm gonna hurt somebody. One more time. Oh no, don't... Don't trap your dog in the kennel, please. Please let that be close enough. Ah, uh, I don't like this. I'm just naturally distrusting because I heard this is a horror thriller. Are you kidding me? <laughs> there, you big baby. I've tied the rope to the concrete block. It should support my weight now. I don't understand it. I've climbed ropes where they're just hanging. Why do you need to tie one end to a concrete block? Right? I mean, if you just tied the two ends together, maybe wound them up a little bit, you could just climb it. Oh well, I don't know much about rope then again. Pixel perfect. Yep. They knew what they were doing. Shuttered window. The window was shuttered, nailed tight. I think I did this when I decided I was too old to play in tree houses. What? So you destroyed stuff and droid, uh, drove nails into it? What a little brat. Okay, let's see if we can do anything. Maybe pull out some nails? Easy, I can get to the pipe now. I didn't know I needed to access a pipe, but I'm glad I did that. I used to always climb up to the roof when I was a little kid. Hopefully I'm not too big now. I love this soundtrack of cicada droning. Yeah, it almost feels like summer. Hmm. Don't die. I should probably save. No, I didn't mean to. I was going to make a new save. Uh. Okay, let's try this again. Did it work? 
Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. Yeah, who decides to do construction on something they don't want to use? Okay, we're in their room. I don't know why I'm suddenly whispering. <laughs> Photograph. Uh, what? That's us and Susie. I can see Susie's um, blonde hair. Why does mom have a picture of us? Mom, what are you doing? I can't even make any comments on it. He has no commentary to make when I click this. Oh God, our mom better not have killed Susie. How are you? Everything good? Uh, I've got a little bit of a fever. Um, it's super hot in here. Actually, the place I'm at is really cold, but it feels really hot because I've, I've got like a 100 degree temperature. But I don't think it's um, the beer, via, the beer, um, the beer, you know what. I'm sure it's just a coincidence because nobody else around me is sick. And I've had it for like two weeks now. Nothing interesting in here. Mom keeps her jewelries in there. Steal all her jewelry. I think mom keeps makeup and stuff. Nothing interesting. Oh god, another mirror. Don't do anything freaky to it. He didn't. Oh, good for him. At least it's a head fever. Yeah, yeah, I've been um, told that unless it's over, like, 100.5, then I can start worrying, but 100.1 uh, is fine. Mom loves reading. I don't have time for it. Let's save that for school. And let's face it, even if something is really wrong, I don't think I would go to the, the hospital because you're more likely to get it there if you don't have it, in my opinion. Plus, if I do have it, like I, it's not like I can't breathe, so it's best just to wait it out, I think. Um, I don't have time for it. Let's save that for school. I used to love reading. Um, I read all the time in elementary school and uh, junior high. Then for some reason in high school, I just had no more time to read. The Horseshoe Diaries by Shane Phillips, Sappy Romance Trash. It's embarrassing that Mom reads this. Chad has no time for books. Mom was my girlfriend. Uh, call it the Barono. Well, the problem is it's so similar sounding. The, the stupid YouTube algorithm is probably going to um, detect it, even if I say it that way. Where is Papa? I like reading, but never read. Yeah, me too. I've uh, I've had a new love for audiobooks, though. In fact, if you guys need something to do, I would really recommend trying out the audiobook for Artemis Fowl. Um, the guy who reads it does so many accents so well. Like, he does American accents, Irish accents. I don't know how legitimate they are, but they pass the smell test for me. Like, I'm never listening to it, and I go, mm, that doesn't sound right. Nope, always really, really good. Um, and he just, he voices all the characters really uniquely, too. It just, they all feel like different, uh, voices when he does them. Highly recommend, um, like, I think there's eight books now. I, I recommend those audiobooks. You used to be able to get them for free on YouTube, um, otherwise you could probably look on the audiobook bay. It looks like an ancient building in Greece, or one of those countries. It's a picture of a boat sailing across the horizon. Okay, the lamp. Mom likes to read books when she goes to bed. I don't have the patience for reading beyond my old comics. It's dark enough in here without switching this off. Mom loves your plants. Everything in this room is the mother's. Where's the father's stuff? Nothing interesting in here. What about this one? Oh wait, did I click the bottom one and not the top one? Or is it all considered the same drawer? Not sure what mom keeps in there. Mom's bed is a bit more extravagant than mine. I've been reading the original The Ring novel. It's pretty cool. Is that the one where it was Japanese? Or has it uh, been translated into English? Uh, they don't even own an armoire. Yeah. The summer reading program tried forcing me to get into Artem's Fowl, so I've never wanted to get into it. I understand completely. When somebody forces you to do something, it's just not fun. Um, but if you do get really bored, maybe on YouTube, give it a listen for like 20 minutes. The first 10 minutes are actually kind of boring because it's setting everything up. After that, though, it's a roller coaster. Um, I can give like a little blurb about what it's about. It's actually super weirdly adult now. It's so adult. Um, well, I mean, not adult adult, but it's so mature that I think I've heard that they're making the movie. They had to change the pot plot line to make it less bad. But basically, it's about this kid who's kind of a sociopath. He's really smart. I mean, he's not a sociopath, but 
he does some bad things. Um, basically, he just he finds out that there's the existence of like fairies that live underground. So he decides to um, uh, kidnap one of them and ransom them for the fairy gold. Problem is the fairies aren't like just magically; they're technologically advanced, and so they send a SWAT team to his house, but it's like booby trapped, and they're trying to kill the kid. It's nuts. It's super nuts. I highly recommend it. It's it's pretty cool. Kidnapped. Yeah, he literally um, shoots a fairy with like a dart, kidnaps her and, and holds her for ransom and makes demands like some terrorist to this fairy organization that's secret, you know, from from humanity. It's crazy. Uh, nothing interesting. In Where's the freaking key, mom? Oh, wait, lower drawer. There we go. It's here. Mom, you freaking snake. What's in the box? What is in the box? It's Susie's gift. I can't wait for her to see it. Hopefully not a ring. Because that's kind of big. I need to unlock the door now. I don't need to risk my neck on the ledge. Let me just check this photograph one more time. What a crazy kid. Yeah, it's crazy. It's fun. He's um, kind of awful, but he's not irredeemable. He's super smug, but he's not like overly smug. He's still kind of likable. Uh, it's nuts. Why am I thinking of Jorgen von Strangle? <laughs> he would fit in, honestly. Um, yeah, like fairy commandos that they, you know, they've got gear that can go invisible. They've got wings. It's nuts. That all sounded absolutely insane. Yeah, it sounds insane. Um, and it's actually a pretty good story. The guy who writes for it, Ian Colfer, uh, Irish guy, he's pretty... Nothing going on here, Mom. He's, uh, he writes really well. Um, if I had to compare his writing style to anyone, it would be the guy who wrote the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy books. So if you've ever read, and I don't mean the movie, forget about that movie, it was, I don't know what the hell that was. But if you've read the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and I guess like the restaurant at the end of time, or whatever it was called, then I think you would really enjoy, um, Artemis Fowl. Okay, car, yeah. I'm pretty excited for this football game, if we ever get there, right? It makes sense for the gift to be on the mom's room if she is Susie. Oh my god, watch the mom just like have a double life due to like a brain tumor and like she swaps between personalities and it's been our mom the whole freaking time. <laughs> what a twist. What's with the hood? Yeah, I don't know. Douglas Adams, yeah, that's the guy. Right, let's get some music on. I want to check what's in the glove box. All right, we have tape one, or tape blue and tape red. What tape should we listen to? Oh, a $20 bill. Cool. Somebody else in the chat said they found 20 bucks. So yeah, what are the odds? All right, what tape do you guys want to listen to? Do you want to listen to It's a Single, Juniper C, Hold Me, Susie's Favorite, or Juniper C versus Form, Grind for Death? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to take a sip of water. You guys tell me what track you want to listen to. Listen to the tape that tipped you 20 bucks. You're freaking right. That 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 tape basically bribed me in order to, to pick it. Sorry, guys. We're going to have to listen to the red tape first. Hopefully I can play both, but... Oh, wait. Let me turn this down. Oh, I have to hit play. No, I don't. Hey, pretty good. Oh, hey, it's Mac. Sorry, yeah. I don't know if anybody's messaged me, but again, I haven't been checking Discord or email. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Click to skip. Skip what? I wonder if it's just gonna be a loop that we have to eventually skip. It looks like he was driving in the middle of the road. Okay, well, I think we may have to skip this. Oh, no, wait, no, 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 no. Okay, I clicked outside the screen. Okay, it's fine, let me save before I do something dumb. We are finally at the game. Is that the moon? How late did they play? Poster, it's an advertisement for football equipment, okay. See Bobby Vapors live at the Shiner's Bar, some sort of concert promo. Free parking. Okay. Do 
It's an advertisement. Come relax in your very own cavern at Lake Kubilius. Family deals available. Extra tuition classes after school. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Rex. Haven't seen you around here for a while. I wouldn't miss the big game. Seen Susie? Susie Cooper? Yeah. Not tonight. You two still going steady? You bet. You lucky son of a bitch. Rex is a good guy, always out to support the turbines. He's in my math class. Hey, Tommy, the hotshot quarterback returns. Yeah, so we are quarterback, something generic like that. Or stereotypical, I should say. That kid seems like he owns a dungeon. <laughs> Who's gonna win tonight? Hank, Tommy, remember who you're talking to. Coach Funkhauser calls me turbines fan number one. He's right. Any sign of Susie? Sorry, Tommy, no sign of her at all. Nada. Yeah, I know we all uh, come from different uh, parts of the world. Hopefully, um, wherever everybody is, you're not in any hot spots right now. Or or if you are, it's it's not too prevalent in your area. Oh, gee, a greaser? He looks like a badass, yeah. Hey there. Hey, why don't you fuck off, pretty boy? <laughs> Jerk. Hey there. Yeah, okay. I'll probably have to bribe him with cigarettes or something. This game just feels uneasy. Like, nothing bad has happened, but it feels like something is just lurking there. Yeah, exactly. I'm just waiting for it. Something's gonna go wrong. But I can't tell what it is or who it is or what it's gonna be. That's a good uh, atmosphere to have. I've seen Laurie around school, but I don't know her very well. I think this girl's name is Shannon. I've never really talked to her. Tammy? I think. I've never seen her around. Excuse me, have you seen Susie here tonight? Uh, no. Sorry to interrupt. Have you seen Susie? Tonight? Yeah, I'm looking for her. Why? Haven't seen her since school last week. Oh god, Susie's been dead. She said her parents were going out of town for a few days. I'm surprised she's not having a party. If my parents were out of town, I would throw the raddest party. You're not invited, Tommy. Sorry. Dude, we're the quarterback. Why not? Have you seen Susie Cooper around here tonight? Aren't you in the USA? That's kind of a hot spot. Yeah, mostly towards the two coasts, though. Um, thankfully, where I am, it's... I mean, it is rising by the day, but it's its nowhere near skyrocketing like everywhere else. Plus, I, I've, I've been in, like, self-isolation quarantine for a month. We're breaking... Or breaking. We're baking our own bread. We're on powdered milk, so we don't need to shop or really do anything. Um... Oh... Uh, well, I hope you're feeling better there. Tommy must have an actual drinking problem. Yeah, I'll go ahead and, um... I'll reach out to you later, hopefully after this, and see what's up. Uh, have you seen Susie Cooper around here tonight? No, I haven't seen her. You sure? I'm sure. I heard you two used to make out under the bleachers. Cutie pies. Vom. Okay, so the moan in the middle is just a bitch, that's all. Sodas, chocolate bars, chips, nothing healthy. Most things cost a quarter. Yeah, remember when stuff used to cost a quarter and not a freaking dollar twenty-five? Okay, um, we will go in there, but let's just have another look around. Keep active, keep healthy, say no to drugs. Oh, I can turn the music up again. Eek. Kind of, kind of spooky ambience there, yeah. Um, it's a sign-up sheet for a camp for uh, brainy kids. Mr. Mahoney is a hard task ma uh, master. He made me do sit-ups in gym class because I told him I was a quicker runner than he'd ever be. Excuse me, Mr. Mahoney. Yes. Have you seen Susie Cooper tonight? Susie Cooper. Susie Cooper. Can't you kids keep track of one another? It's weird. Nobody seems to know who Susie is. It's like Susie Cooper. They're like, who? It's like, uh, the girl that's dating the star quarterback? Huh. The third girl looked like some skin crawler with Timmy Turner teeth. Yeah, her eyes looked like, um, kind of like a rabbit's. Just kind of, just dots that were kind of reddish. Kind of spooky. It's just that I'm supposed to be meeting her here tonight. 
Well, keep looking. I'm afraid I have not seen the girl. Thanks, Mr. Mahoney. Hey, Tommy, are you sure you should be here? Huh? Move along now, Tommy. You shouldn't even be here. Why not? Why wouldn't the quarterback be at the football game? I don't want to look around in the trash. Gross. Well, we'll probably have to. This is a point-and-click game. Both to try to convince people to sign up for the basketball team. No thanks. Kevin is a decent ball player. He played a couple of games with us in the first team. Steve graduated last year, but still comes by to show the turbines, uh, turbines some love. Kevin! Oh, hi, Tommy. Long time no see. Have you seen Susie around? Susie, you still going out with her? Yeah, you seen her? Sorry, dude, no sign. She's hard to miss. Why don't you ask Scott? Uh, is there a reason the cheerleaders are just in tube tops? Was that ever, like, a an actual uniform for high school? Uh, I was just trying to take a glance at her. This dude legit walked over to her, squatted on the ground, and is now slowly standing up. <laughs> Come on, man, that's why you don't get invited to parties. <laughs> oh, freaking... That was the most obvious glance I've <laughs> Hey, Steve. You, uh, you seen Susie around? Sorry, Tommy, I haven't seen her. I, I tried to talk to her that time. Okay, I can't get out of it. We're just gonna have to wait it out. I guess talking and looking is the same thing for him. <laughs> That's the most serial killer thing I've seen. Okay, let's get the hell out of here before we just get kicked out. <laughs> okay. I don't know what's in there. Staff only. Well, we're going in. Locked. Okay, maybe not. The tilt of his head. Yeah. <laughs> and the music. That was so funny. Uh, changing rooms. Hey, you know you're not allowed in there, Tommy. But no buts. Now scram. Okay, it's a turbine football game. I'm the quarterback, and yet I'm not allowed in the changing room. Maybe it's the female changing room? I don't know. That's weird. Super weird. An extractor fan. It gets hot in the maintenance room. Susie and I often hang out in there. It's some sort of maintenance room. I don't want to mess around with that. Okay, maintenance room it is. Now, Tommy, don't be anxious. I, I just need to keep a clear head after what happened. Come on, he'd be proud of you, leading the team. And Coach Funkhauser is relying on you. It's, it's just been a while. Hey, you know what? What? You're my hero. These two lovebirds are all over each other. So, something happened to the previous player that we're having to take over? Someone left a crate in here, nice to sit on and have a beer. I don't have time for sitting around. I think this might control the extraction system. What do you mean extraction system? What are they extracting? Oh, it's an it's a it's an hour in. I should go ahead and take a uh, little break here. Okay, we're gonna save. We're gonna take a little uh, like three minute break, and then we'll come back and hopefully finish the game off. There we go. Okay, oh, I don't, I moved everything around on my desktop so I don't easily, um, I don't have that music I usually play on breaks easily accessible, so it'll take me like half a minute to get it. But uh, I'll go ahead and uh, see you guys in about three minutes.
Okay, looks like we are back. Oh, and before I forget, uh, again, the, the stream bake uh, music is provided by our own Voidhead. I believe, uh, I'd say recently, but I found this out a couple months ago while I was on hiatus. Um, he's uh, come out with an album, I believe. So if you're interested in the description of this video, uh, there is a link. So there's some stuff you haven't heard yet. And so I would recommend checking that out if you like his music. All right, um, so what can we actually do in here? That's high voltage, we can't really touch that. What about this? Why are we fiddling around with this anyway? Why would we want to mess with this? Nothing's happening. Nothing, there doesn't seem to be any power. I think a backup battery goes here. Okay, maybe it's in the crate. No? I finally installed Photoshop, so I'm thinking of making some emotes for the server. How does PogChamp Juji Incho girl sound? Yeah, whatever you guys want. Um, eh. I don't really know much about emotes, so... Let's see. Chad, what are you doing? Yeah, what are we doing? Backup battery. Got some money, we've got a tape. Yeah, no backup batteries though. The extractor fan isn't running. Why would we want it to run though? I mean, I've got 20 bucks. Maybe I need to. Oh, the cheerleader's gone. Hmm. Seen Susie yet? Housings. I got a job in my dad's hardware store. It's boring, but I'm saving up to move to New York. New York? Why do you want to move there? To be an actor? Isn't that Los Angeles? Hollywood? Hmm, as long as I get myself the hell out of East Bend, I'll be happy. Bye. See you on the flip side, you take care of yourself. How are things? Been out injured. Should be a few more weeks before I can hit the field again. Your knee, right? Yeah, popped. Limpy Kevin. Well, hope it feels better soon. Thanks, Tommy. Seen Susie? Nope. Hmm. What is PogChamp? I don't know that word and I feel really dumb. Uh, move along now, Tommy. You shouldn't even be here. Why not, coach? Why not? Oh, we've got 20 bucks for a vending machine, baby. Hello? Have you seen Susie? Haven't seen her. How are you? Feeling a bit cold? Go turboins. Hi. Hello? How are things? Okay. Boy, she really does not like us. Have you seen Susie? As I said, no. Boy, you're like a lovesick puppy. Bye. Ciao. How are things? Can't you just leave us alone? We're talking. Seen her around? No. Okay. That's still locked. Maybe the cool kid's got like a lock pick or something I can use. Hey, Rex. Just keep asking where Susie is until she starts screaming. <laughs> okay. I don't want your crap. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Let's see. Pogchamp equals wowza. It's a stupid emote of a guy screaming in awe. Oh yeah, sure. Emote for excitement or surprise. Ah, <laughs> uh, try to pay off the coach. Ooh, good point. It's a strange idea. Alright, fine. Vending machine it is. It only takes coins. Not cool. <laughs> We're just too rich. Okay, upstairs. I forgot all about... Uh oh. That's weird. Huh. I guess I can't go upstairs. The lights aren't even on for the game. Oh wait, no, we can go further. I'm just... I wish there was an indication, but I should be clicking on the edges of the screen. That's good practice when you're playing a point-and-click game. Is the overall goal at this point to find Susie or get into the football game? Both. <laughs> the fan isn't running. It's supposed to be like summer, right? Why aren't any of the fans running? 
Fan isn't running. Locked. I've walked in a circle around the entire ground. I can't find Susie anywhere. Well, maybe she's sick. I want to give her this before the game starts. Okay, can I proceed to the next line of dialogue? Okay. Hi, Tommy. Hey, Jesse. Have you seen Susie tonight? Susie Cooper? Of course, my Susie. I saw her just now. Really? Where did she go? Hmm, I'll tell you. Go on. But first, I would like you to do me a little favor, then I will tell you exactly where she is. Are you kidding? Just tell me, Jesse. Are you going to do me a favor or not? Ugh, we don't really have much of a choice, though. What are the odds that, that he saw her, yet nobody else has seen her? I feel like he's probably lying, but we don't really have um, much of a choice. What are this person's pronouns? I'd guess guy. Um, not really acting much like a girl. This is the 80s, so. Okay, good, good. I'll get you to, uh, I'll get you to your gal. Yeah, definitely a guy. But first, a little favor for your pal, Jesse. Jesus, Jesse, just get on with it. You know Todd? Todd Masters? The very man. The very douche. What does this have to do with Todd Masters? Well, your old teammate ratted me out to Principal Michaels last week, said I was selling booze to freshmen. And were you? Besides the point. I need my revenge. My wrist is still aching from writing all those lines in detention. What, is it one of those magic pens that cuts it? I bet that's not the only thing your wrist is aching from. Dang! See, that's the kind of humor I expect from jocks like Todd, not Mr. MVP Superstar of Purchase County Tommy Taylor. Sorry, Jesse, you set him up and I hit him out of the park. Leave your stupid comments in your pocket next time. Anyway, I want you to get me today's, or Todd's, lucky charm. It's a signed photo. You in? That seems kind of messed up. Like, if there's a game that's going on, the last thing that guy needs is to have his good luck charm stolen. A lot of sports fans or sports players are super uh, superstitious, so he'll end up in a bad headspace if we steal it. What do you guys think? Leave your stupid comments in your pocket. Yeah, that's crazy. I've never heard that before. You think it's a The Room reference? Is it? He's a liar. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Just tell me where Susie is. Get your own revenge. If that's how you want to play it, good luck. If you don't find your gal, you know who can tell you. Yeah, I have a feeling we're probably gonna have to. Jesse is a prime high school dropout material. Oh, a. I'm sorry. Jesse is prime high school dropout material. A bit of a stinker. He returns. Is Tommy ready to help me yet? No. Ugh. It's probably... I may not have a choice, though. There's nobody down there. Susie was nowhere to be found. Well, if he's seen her, and I doubt that, then everyone else will have seen her, too, because this is a circle. She's gonna have to leave, right? Keep walking around, I guess. Yeah, I'll give it a little bit. If I don't find her, though, I'll have to do it. Seen her yet? Sorry. Yeah, she would have to exit this way. A date in the park didn't have multiple endings, though, so I don't know if I should even bother trying to be a good guy here. Okay, I guess we'll have to do it. There's not much else we can do. Maybe we could just pay him off with 20 bucks? Let's try that. Phone died. Did I miss much? Uh, we talked to this guy who's like, hey, um, I need revenge, so if you want me to tell you where she is, I'll tell you, but you have to go steal something. I don't want to give him that. <sighs> Just punch him in the face with a fistful of keys. Alright, fine, whatever. Good choice. Uh, I've made a save, so we can always come back here if it turns out there's multiple endings. Good choice. It'll be a piece of cake. So what do you want me to get? It's Todd signed photo, legend, uh, football legend Gordy Coleman, his lucky charm. Where can I find the photo? Todd keeps it in his locker in the changing rooms. You can just go in and get it. Except I'm not allowed in there. Hmm. Why don't you get it yourself? Do you think Mahoney is going to let me into those changing rooms? You're on the team. 
Why does he say you were, not you are? Like, that's past tense. Hmm. Can you go past that geezer? I tried, and he's like, oh, you're not allowed in there anymore. So, you're on the team. You can just go straight in there. So why do you say we're on the team? Are we not on the team anymore? That's weird. You losing your hearing, Tommy boy? Just go into the changing rooms and get Todd Gordy's picture. Can at least have a clue where Susie went? No. Jesus, Jesse, you are pushing me. The mighty Tommy Taylor running errands for Jesse Carrera. They won't believe it. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. What am I looking for again? His locker, okay. You know where to find me. What a smug creep. Break Todd's knees, 2020. Uh, that's Steve. That's Kevin. So I haven't actually spoken to Todd. Hey, what did I tell you? Scram. Hi, Mr. Mahomey. Uh, can I go into the changing rooms, please? Why are you guarding the door? Let's try that first. Why are you guarding the door? The changing rooms are for players only tonight. You know that. But Coach Funkhauser's orders. Besides, someone needs to keep an eye on you reefer smokers. I don't smoke, sir. Yeah, he just drinks himself into a stupor. Well, that's a plus for you. Nothing I hate more than the stench of cigarette smoke. There are kids... Oh, okay, let's try... Can I go in? Can I go into the changing rooms, please? Tommy, you are not to enter this door, understand? But I need to get in there. Cool your jets, Tommy. You are not allowed in here. It's not rocket science. Okay, there's kids smoking under the bleachers. What? Wait here. Tattletales, Mr. Taylor. I see no smokers. Move along now. Scram. Ugh. Jesse's about to get a, a Chad tackle. <laughs> uh. Even Tommy is aware that people are implying he isn't on the team anymore. Yeah, exactly. You know, what if he goes into stupors just like his mom, and he's just kind of like got a blank space where whatever happened, happened? Huh. Let me see here. Maybe you can pay someone? Yeah, I'm going to talk to these guys. Maybe they'll be able to figure something out. Nope. I doubt Jesse's going to help me with this. Maybe I can pay the girls to do it, or the kids outside. Want to get in trouble for me? Okay, yeah, let's try the number one fan outside. He's more likely to help, I think. Tommy, the hotshot quarterback returns. Yeah, see, why are some people referring to us as the quarterback while others are saying you were on the team? So that's that's weird. Yeah, leather jacket looks like a smoker. He's already in the smoker pose. Yeah, let's try paying him off. I can't go any further. Ah, all right. I'll see if I can get Jesse to distract him. He's more likely to help because he wants that photo. Can't you go past him? No, if I try to interact, his he stops me. I still can't go up the stairs. You got it yet? No. What am I looking for again? Ugh, he's not gonna help. Okay, so we can't go down there. That's locked. I need to find a spare battery for that extraction fan. Oh, maybe I need to make it smoke. Maybe I need to light something on fire. Okay, yeah, stoners. Cool. Hey, what do you want? Um, have you guys seen Susie Cooper? We normally meet in here with our friends. I don't know no Susie Cooper, man. She's one of those popular girls. Ain't seen her. Who are you? Tommy Taylor. The Tommy Taylor? Yeah. Surprised to see you here after everything that I've heard. You got any cigarettes? No. Linda here smoked the whole fucking pack. Screw you. Yeah, see, what is this event everybody keeps referring to? I've seen him around, a gothy kid. I don't know this guy at all. I recognize her, she's cute. You got any cigarettes? Nope. 
Okay, time to get some cigarettes. What happened to the cheerleader? Yeah, why is she jumping around if there's not a game going on right now? Like, cheer cheerleaders don't just, like, stand around and jump, right? There usually is a game going on to make them do that. Maybe she was practicing, though. Girl. Hey! Hi. Oh, there's more people. I'm gonna have to look around a bit. Have you seen Susie Cooper? I'm looking for her. Do I know you? Have you seen Susie Cooper? No, get lost, creep. Why is everyone so hostile? Hey, Jeff. Cough, cough. Jeez, Tommy, sorry to cough in your face. Oh, God, it all comes back to the, to the you-know-what. <laughs> Time to self-isolate. You okay? Smoked way too much last night. My throat is on fire. That's just the tar seeping into your lungs. Haven't you seen, uh, or haven't seen you in a long time? How's things? Oh, fine. Well, you're looking better. Have you seen Susie? Haven't seen her since last week in math class. I'm supposed to meet her here before the game, as always. I can't find her. Ah, uh, you okay, Tommy? I just have something for her. Cough, cough. Well, I'll holler if I see her. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, everyone's acting surprised that we're together at all. Uh, it's weird. Have you tried her house? Not yet. Good idea. You smoke? Yeah, a bit too much. Where do you buy your cigarettes? Oh, I know a guy. He stood right over there. Rex sells you cigarettes? <laughs> no, not Rex. Over there, leaning against the wall. Black jacket. Oh, that guy. Let's see. Oh, that guy. He seems like a complete jerk. His name is Denny, and he's a scary bastard, but he always has a pack or three on offer. See you around. Jeff, he's in my gym class. I don't recognize that guy at all. It's weird, he's wearing a letterman jacket. Hey, yeah? You seen Susie Cooper? No. Man, I need to find her. Why? She's my girl. I have a gift for her. Sounds like somebody's in love. Uh, maybe she's off porking some other dude. Hey, don't say that. Just Josh and you, dude. Chill out. Maybe we can get under a car and drive to her house. I keep the car lock safety first. It's the 80s, after all. We can get in the car. Maybe I should go check Susie's house. Perhaps she's still there. Okay, okay. We've got a we've got a, a branching plot line here. I don't know if it's if it makes a difference, but this is something. What do you guys think? Should we follow along the um, smoking subplot, or should we go check Susie's house? What are you guys thinking? Go to her house, give her house a call, buy a pack. Smoking is bad, go to her house. Susie's house is gonna be insane. House, smoke can wait. Okay, we'll check out the house. It's probably gonna be a dead end though. And I, ha I have made a save point here. So, you know, worst case, we can always uh, reload and come back and do this first. Oh, I'm gonna need, okay, fine. Let's try the blue track first. Wait a minute, is this not the same track we listened to on the red tape? Let me turn this down a bit. Okay, well, we don't really have time to listen to music. There's no sign of life. Don't say it that way, man. Susie's house. There's no sign of life. Okay. Hello, is anyone home? Susie. Let's try a couple more times, because that is new. Hmm, no one's home. Okay, well, if she's not there, then the next best bet is the high school. I'm sorry, I just need a bit of time, okay? But Susie, I love you. You can't do this. Please, Tommy, let it go. Uh-oh. So I guess the relationship wasn't as good as uh, we've been led to believe so far. Well, I guess I should head back to the game. She has to be there. Did 
Did that not work? Break in. <laughs> well, nobody seems to be nobody seems to be home, so I'm not sure if there's a reason to break in. Okay, so let's go get some cigarettes from what's his face. Oh wait, no, I didn't mean to, hang on. There we go. Hey, I hear you sell cigarettes, 20 bucks, rip off. 20 bucks, you either take that or you shove it where the sun don't shine. Yeah, whatever, grifter, here's 20. Well, looky here, one pack right here for you, pretty boy. Aw, he thinks we're pretty. Y'all don't come back now, you hear? Okay, so we got some cigarettes. Wonder what happens if I try to give them to the coach. Also, this is kind of messed up. We're about to sell out those three kids. They're going to get in big trouble. Or maybe they didn't care back then about smoking. But where I come from, or came from, I guess, um, if they caught you smoking, that was like you'd get reassigned to schools and stuff. No, not there. Oh, wait, yes, yes, there. Susie isn't home, and we reason, uh, and you reason that her parents aren't there because they're they aren't in town. They're on a business trip or something. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Here, wow, Tommy, you're giving us the whole pack. Go for it. You're not so bad after all. It's a shame Linda lost the lighter. You bastards! Far out, man. Let it go. We got cigarettes, but no lighter. What a conundrum. So not only did Linda smoke the entire pack, but she also lost the lighter. I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a pattern here. It's probably in the freaking trash. Lighter. What can we use for a lighter? Ah. Does anyone have a lighter? I guess I can go ask the smoker kid because he's not smoking anymore. He may not need his lighter. Hey Jeff, do you have a lighter? I do. Can I borrow it? Trade you for it. Come on, man. You're not even smoking anymore. You hurt your lungs, remember? Tommy, this is a nice lighter. Trade me something and I'll let you borrow it. Cough, cough. Well, what do you want? Surprise me. For fuck's sake, I am getting tired of running errands and trading favors. Why can't he just let me borrow it? Ah. <sighs> Want to trade your lighter for this? Um, no thanks, Tommy. <laughs> Give him Susie's present. A car for a lighter? I don't think so. Well, we don't really have anything else, do we? Alright. A knuckle sandwich. Trade him a knuckle sandwich. Well, well. Alright, right back to talking to people, I guess. Got a light? I don't smoke. That's right. Good for you. My body is a temple. Good for you. No, not in there. Oh, wait, yeah, in there. <sighs> Thanks for the cigarettes, but they're no use without a lighter. You know what this game really reminds me of? It was some game called, God, what is it, like Homecoming Night, Prom Night or something? It came out really recently. Um, nothing's gonna happen. I wanted to play it, but uh, it came out right around the same time that um, The Beast Within did. I kind of still want to play it. Oh, look, door's open. Okay. A quarter. Cool. Okay. Hopefully we're not gonna do anything creepy. Reminds me of Susie and I. Where is she? Oh, does this have a battery? It's firmly attached. Hello. Fan isn't running, it's broken. Okay, let's try this battery out. Cooper Lynchian? Is there something about the name Cooper? I'm not exactly an expert in uh, David Lynch. Okay. Is 
It's running. Extra extracting the air from this room. Okay, I've got a quarter, and we've got the fan going, so I guess that'll blow the smoke out. Okay. What kind of snack should we get? A soda, whatever. Main character of Twin Peaks, Dale Cooper. Man, I keep trying to watch Twin Peaks, but I always get like three episodes in and then just get distracted with something. Okay, here you go. Take it, shut up, give me the lighter. If I give you this soda, will you let me borrow the lighter? You bet. Okay, fantastic. Never speak to me again. Trade the pot for the lighter. Yeah, good idea, right? Oh, wait, no, I went too far. Okay, they're in the other uh, doorway. Okay, here we go. Lighter. At this point, I'm so annoyed, I can't wait to bust them. Really good pixel detail, though. You're a star, a modern-day saint. Okay, well, don't thank me yet. Okay, so let's turn it on, just in case. I hear the fan running, so... There we go. Okay, now we can rat them out, and then I can finally go into the freaking changing room. Ah, <laughs> there he goes. Oh wait, you know what? I kinda wanna go see him. I don't wanna risk back out. Okay, I probably wouldn't have been able to go in. Um, Coach Funkhauser's office. Notice board. Need your lawns mowing? Wait, you mean need your lawns mowed? Want it done cheap? Contact Howgrund, 555-2368. It's from a local sports store advertising their football gear. All the helmets. Oh, happy to see me streaming. Yeah, you too. I'm glad to everybody that was able to come. Let's see. Oh, uh, where's I? Uh, helmet's 20% off, two years old. Mr. Lanterman, or Mrs. Lanterman, is offering after-class dance lessons. I guess this is for the cheerleaders. Lost, men's watch, brown leather strap, digital alarm, contact Shane. Ten-year anniversary, ball purchase, county turbines, all-state champions, 1976. Join us, June 6, 1986. That was a hoot, a worthy celebration of the greatest moment in turbines history. I was only a tiny kid at the time. How are you a tiny kid at the time if this is 1987? Oh, it must have been he's remembering the, the, the thing that happened in 1976 that they're celebrating in 1986. Whatever. Um, you know what I mean. Never seen such a huge victory parade. Cool. Motley Crew. Tune in to Breeze FM, East Bend's number one classic hit station. Remember, shower before and after every game. You think it's a smash tournament or something. It's the schedule for the season, turbines versus loggers. September 12th, that's tonight. Oh, so it is September. Don't do drugs. Okay, let's try this guy's office first. Whiteboard, that's where he draws up his plays. Uh, do they have whiteboards in the 80s? I feel like that's more of a modern thing, isn't it? It's best if I leave that alone. I shouldn't touch that. A photo of Coach Funkhauser with a player I don't recognize. I wonder if that's the guy that died that we replaced. I guess this proves that Con Coach uh, Funkhauser is allowed to coach. <laughs> I'm not sure taking Coach Funkhauser's coaching certificate is going to do me any good. There's a trophy here from the All-State Championship win back in 76, the greatest day in the history of the Turbines. Yeah, that's what he was a little kid for, I guess. Um, not that he was a little kid in 86, that he was a kid in 70-whatever that they were celebrating in 86. There's a trophy here, okay. The filing cabinet is locked tight. It's a lamp. Should probably leave the lamp alone. Well, if you want. This is boring school stuff. Shouldn't be in here. 
Who knows what Coach keeps in here? It's a nice wooden desk. Oh, key to the filing cabinet. Why are we even in here, though? I just wanted to poke around. I didn't actually expect to, to get in here. Can I shut this? Okay, tell you what, I'm backing out, and then I can go back in. Key doesn't fit. Key doesn't fit. Okay, fine. Little key I found in Coach Funkhauser's drawer. Whiteboards are from the 1960s-ish. Really? They were invented in the 50s, but chalkboards were still more common in the 80s. Yeah, this guy must have been super rich to uh, have a handy-dandy whiteboard. Oh yeah, and uh, shout out the fancy slowpoke. Exactly. If anyone wants to join the Discord, uh, he's got a link there in the chat. Um, you know, just kind of a fun thing. I haven't exactly been active on it, but uh, there's a lot of people there that have similar interests. So if you like horror games, mystery games, all sorts of stuff, there's um, odds are someone's going to be there that'll want to talk about it. Oh, Avaria Vidal. Stay safe. Glad you're back. Well, thank you so much for the 20... I don't know what the L means. I used to know. What is that? Euros? I don't... I'm a, you know what? I'm not going to embarrass myself. I totally know what that is. Thank you very much, and uh, thanks. Hope, you, hope you're having a good stream. Jay Tholen shows promise needs to work on his fitness. 71. Locker number one. Okay, so these are all birth dates. Locker number three. Wise guy. Fierce tackler. Oh, so this tells me whose lockers are who. Todd Masters, that's the locker I need. Bullying tendencies, he be strict on him. Elder brother Joseph was part of All-State Champion team back in 76. Todd idolizes his brother. Okay. Elder brother Joseph Masters was part of the All-State Champions. Okay. Huh. Nathaniel, best quarterback we've had since Tommy Taylor. Wait a minute, but we're Tommy Taylor, aren't we? So we're no longer the quarterback anymore. We've been replaced with Nathaniel Juhaz. Nathaniel? Have I spoken to a Nathaniel? Um. Yeah, it is pounds. Okay, yeah, I was sort of right, right? <laughs> Do you still have your notebook? Maybe you should take down some of those numbers on the corkboard. Were there numbers on the corkboard? I mean, these are these are in the filing cabinet, but yeah, I should I should remember whose uh, thing is what. It says 71, but I think that's their birth date. Like, it's supposed to be 1987, right? And he says he was a little kid back in 1973, which does mean it fits. We're all, we're all around the same age. But why aren't we the quarterback anymore? Why have we been replaced by Nathaniel Juhaz? That's why we're not allowed in here anymore. Okay, his locker is six. Derek. Bobby. That boy ain't right. Okay, so the ones we want to look at is Masters 4 and Juhaz 6. Crazy stuff. Also, quid, 20 quid is nothing to scoff at. That's like $30. Yeah, I don't know what the conversion is is to U.S. money. I've never been very good at that. I know with yen, you just pretty much knock off the last two zeros. Um, but not not so much with other currency. Ah, oh, Lisi Lossy, or Lissy Lossy. Hi, Cursory. Glad to see that you're well. Yeah, you guys too. I'm so glad everyone's doing all right. I mean, you know, maybe not all right, but we're all alive, right? That's the... That's uh, important. Check the girls' locker room. I'd be kicked out of school if I went in there. This is where the magic happens. Not really. Um, I'm bad at maths, but it's enough to stock up on toilet paper. Yeah, just make sure you guys are all stocked up on everything that you can be comfortable during the uh, lockdown. Okay. The smell coming from toilets is disgusting. Did someone die in here? Oh god, we died in here, didn't we? We like overdosed or something. Another mirror. This guy does love to stare into mirrors. We were 17. Number 17. Maybe we had a head injury, and that's why we don't seem to be aware of certain things. Susie died in there. That's what the smell is. <laughs> Personally, this whole thing has changed nothing but the fact that I can no longer eat pizza. Yeah, same here. 
Um, my life has changed surprisingly little, which, not the best sign. It is what it is. Okay, I didn't mean to click on the mirror again. Dang it. Come on. Okay, good. Toilets, toilets. Remember to wash your hands. Locker number one, James Solon's locker. Locker number two, Bobby. Number three. Okay, number four is what we need, so let me try number six real quick. I guess I can't really... Hmm, showers. Steamy and smelly. No, I don't want to take a shower. Weird, my code doesn't work anymore. I must talk to Coach Funkhauser. Okay, guy, you've had multiple opportunities to question people when they say you're not on the team anymore, but you haven't. This code doesn't work anymore. Yeah, it's because you're not on the team anymore. Okay, this is the one. Hmm. Wait, he said he idolizes his big brother that was part of the 1971 thing, right? Or no, 1973. Okay, let's try 1973. Oh, something on top of the lockers? Okay, I'll try it. Yeah, I think it's just a jacket. It doesn't really let me interact with it. Good idea, though. Okay, so 1970... It was either one or three. Ah... Oh, uh... Oh, of course, it resets everything. Okay, time to check that file again. Oh, wait, 76. Okay, you guys have a better memory than I do. Okay, let's try this one more time. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Okay, there we go. 1976. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I tried 76. Didn't quite work. So let's let's check the um, file again. Masters. 1976. That's what I tried, right? Okay, maybe it's his birthday. Um, 2671 or... You think it's 0806? Uh, I don't know how it would be. 0876. Oh, that's right, September. It was September. Wait, was it September? Okay. Let's try, yeah, September 76. Okay. Either way, we've got more numbers we can try, so... You think he died? Although, wouldn't he not have a locker anymore if that was the case? 08. September is the eighth month, right? Nope. It's a good try. Oh, wait, wait. Did I do, did I do 73 or 76? Ah. Uh, I didn't actually check what the 70 number was. Okay, let's try 76. No, okay. September is nine. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Okay, well, let's try nine then. Okay, it could be 73. I actually think it might be 73. Um, I will tell you this, the background noise is slowly driving me crazy. Uh, okay, one more time. I'm gonna take a note. August is the eighth month. Okay, well, people said nine. I was just like, oh, okay. That way I don't have to count. I should really have my notebook out, but unfortunately it's in a different room. I had to take notes on something else a while ago, so I don't have it near me. Okay, so here are some numbers. 76. It was 76. 1976, but 1976 doesn't work. He idolizes his brother, Joseph. Elder brother Joseph. Joseph, Joseph. 
James, no. I was thinking maybe his number. Okay, let me look at the date on those trophies. And then there was a party that happened on the anniversary. 1976. When did he talk about September? Do we know that the All-State Championship was in, in September? Or is that just this month? Hmm. Oh, June. Duh. I'm an idiot. I d okay, January, February, March, April, May, June. June is 6. So let's try 0676. 0676. 0676. Okay, we got this. I thought it was September, but that was actually this month, yeah. Um, 06. Ah! Hey, Cursory, how's it been for you? I've been surviving, um, a little bit sick. Not dr dreadfully sick, though. Let's try 6. <laughs> if it all fails, try 666. It was the 6th of June. 6676? Okay, worth a try. Okay. What the heck? So it was the sixth of the sixth month of 76. I hate this. I hate you. I don't know who you are, but I hate you. Todd Masters rocks the classic Purchase County high jacket. I have my own Purchase County high jacket. This must be it, the picture that Jesse wants. Framed picture. A portrait of Gordy Coleman, swiped from Todd Master's locker. Oh, I feel so dirty. It's a picture of Todd's brother, is it? Wait, his brother is Juan or John. Gordy Coleman, nope. He says he idolizes his brother John, which was on the state championships. The guy is Gordy. I mean, his name is Gordy, so... All right, let's go see those kids getting chewed out. Oh, wait, this one. Locked. He must be mad. Oh, he's killing those kids. Why is it not Todd's brother? Yeah, it said he idolizes his brother, John, and the portrait of, is of somebody named Gordy Coleman. So I don't think they're the same person. They could be, but I don't know. You got it? I do. Awesome. Hand it over. Here it is. Thanks, Tommy. So you're gonna tell me where Susie is? Right there. What? Right there, behind you. Is this some kind of joke? Hey, I'm a man of my word. She's just through that door. All the cool kids hang out there these days. I saw her go in. The whole time, she's been right there. Why the fuck couldn't you have just told me? Don't shoot the messenger, Tommy Tom. Just beat his ass. The coach isn't around. It's locked, you liar. Tommy, there's a special knock. Do it like knock, 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 big knock. <sighs> For your sake, Jessie, she better be in there. I'm losing my patience. Shave and a haircut. Six pence, I think. Come in. Oh my god. Shouldn't we have known this? Aren't we a cool kid? Susie. Tommy, what are you doing here? I, I'm looking for Susie. Uh-oh. Is that the kid we stole from? <gasps> oh no, Susie, no! I just, I... I feel bad for him. He has been through a lot. Well, yes, babe, that may be the case. Look at that pizza face. What, she left us for him? But that doesn't justify what he did to the team. You can't let him call you anymore. We're together now. Oof. What the fuck are you doing here? Why are you looking for Susie? Yep, Chad knows. Chad knows something's up. He's just avoiding it. 
living in his dream world. I... He's not on the team anymore. His girlfriend left him. His mom spaces out. Ugh, what a nightmare. Yeah, time to just leave. You're not wanted there. Find some... Find someone better. What's happening? Maybe that's why mom didn't want us going out. She knew that we didn't even have a game to play in. Oh, we're back at home. Yeah, good. Let's check on our dog. Oh. Where's mom? Maybe our dad's been dead for a long time. That's why he never tr fixed the treehouse. What are you doing with that? This has gone too far, Tommy. You need to stop this now. <laughs> oh my god, Mom! <laughs> she just, just slams that. Okay. What's in the box? Oh. Where are we now? Okay. Oh, we're at the lake, our special place. Tremond or Tremond Dam Lake, effects and figures. What are we doing at the lake, man? It's a jewelry store. Oh, he was gonna ask her to marry him. Rings. All kinds of rings. Gold, silver, diamonds. They are very expensive. Not quite what I had in mind for Susie. Necklaces. Some cheap-looking necklaces. Exactly what I had in mind for Susie. <laughs> a mirror. Now's not the time for reflection. Oh my god, don't blow your money on that. That's the one. Susie will love that. He looks friendly. I hope they've got a good return policy. Is this a handcuff store? Yeah, finger cuffs, handcuffs, neck cuffs. Very expensive. Let's see. Hello. Hello, young man. How can I help you today? I would like to buy my- oh, I can turn the background back up. I would like to buy a piece of jewelry for my girlfriend. Sir, you are in the right place. This is a jewelry store. Uh, how much money are we looking to spend today? I have a hundred bucks. Oh my god, man, come on. That's like a lot of money back in the 80s. That's a lot of money now, heck. Do you know how much toilet paper you could buy with that money? Like one whole roll. I have a hundred bucks I've been saving for months. Well, she must be a very special girl. That's what the S is for. <laughs> Is it possible, Chet? Yeah, what if he invited her out here to talk alone last week and killed her and has just been, like, walking around with, with um, his memories messed up? We have some beautiful rings and necklaces. Feel free to have a browse and don't hesitate to, hesitate to ask me any questions. That's the one. I need to ask the cashier how much it is. Excuse me, how can I help? How much is the, um, tell me about the necklaces. This one's probably going to precede the pro uh, plot, so we're going to do, how can you, uh, tell me about the necklaces you have? I recommend taking a look at the Amour series. Shouldn't there be a, a U in there? Oh, well, to your right, it's our latest collection. Tell me about the rings. We have a beautiful range of rings, silver, gold, diamond, you name it. Feel free to browse. How about the S? I hope he bought this before the breakup, otherwise this is just very sad. How much is the S necklace? Ah, uh, that's from the Amour series. A lovely choice, sure, to please your new s or your sweetheart. It's eighty nine ninety nine. We take cash or check. Hey, we'll have a uh, ten bucks left over. I'll take it. What did you do, man? What did you do? Amour is Italian. Yeah, I thought Amour was. Uh, maybe that's. Maybe I'm thinking of French. It's weird. Usually when I hear Amour, it's it's like the French one, not the Italian one. Weird. 
Oh, Amore. Amore. <laughs> That's right, like the pizza pie song. Okay. Wait, how do you pronounce the French one then? Have I been pronouncing Amore wrong my entire life? I have something for you. Oh, Tommy, what is it? Here. Whatever we're going to is not going to be good. In French, it sounds like amour. Okay, good. I'm glad I wasn't botching at least the French pronunciation. Oh, God. He looks weird. I don't want to talk to him. Oh, watch him just... Did he just kill our girlfriend? Let me turn that down a teasy bit. Okay, I can't go back. You think Chad looks like a Muppet? Yeah, kinda. Yeah, I have a feeling uh, Jupiter C is probably like a real indie band that they, they probably ask to do some songs or use some songs. Oh look, she's alive. Great. Tommy, what are you doing here? What do you mean? I've come to see you. But I asked you to leave me alone. Uh-oh. Yep, walk away, man. It's not worth it. She's still wearing his fucking necklace, though. That's gross. She's a gross person. Just don't even bother. I don't understand. You're still wearing the necklace. I love you, Susie. Why do you look at me this way? Tommy, please. I thought he was covered in blood for a second. It's just a stupid Letterman jacket. You're tearing me apart, Susie. Oh, so we got the necklace back. How? There better be actual closure here, otherwise I'm gonna be so mad. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Okay, well, he killed her, then resorted to drinking to forget it. <sighs> Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. She can't. She's catatonic. It's over, Susie. I have the high ground. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, if she had the necklace, I don't see how he could have gotten it back without doing something to get it back. He just got so sad, he ate so many french fries, and ketchup got all over the place. Wait a second, though. That red stuff was dripping out of a bottle. So, was it blood? I mean, it looked like blood, but it was coming out of a bottle. I hate endings like that. I was, to be honest, expecting it, because if you played their previous game, A Date in the Park, it ended exactly like that. And everyone's like, oh, well, when you think about it this way, you know, it talked about, you know, the Greek gods and maybe she was a Greek god and, you know, and it's like, ugh, shut up. I, uh, yeah. So there you go. That was a football game. We never did get to that football game. I do like that a lot of it was, um, it was, it, you kind of had to piece it together. Like, clearly we're not on the team anymore. If we just rushed through the dialogue or didn't bother to talk to people, we probably wouldn't have realized that. But at the same time, I'm of the mind that a bad ending can ruin an otherwise good game or good movie, you know? And I'm not fond of the ending. But then again, other than showing her dead body, what else could they have possibly shown, you know? Hmm... Sports ball. I mean, sorry, sports ball. Yeah. Uh, F that open-ended BS. I wanted closure. Yeah. At the same time, though, I think the closure is he had to have done something to get that necklace back. And the two possibilities are either she handed it over, which I don't find very likely, because a girl that's going to continue to wear the jewelry you gave her while she left you and is, you know, not talking to you anymore is kind of gross. She's not just going to give it back to him. 
he probably either snatched it off her neck, which would have been easy to do, or he pushed her, hurt her to get it, and, you know, that would explain the blood. So, so he got kicked out of the team because of an incident, probably booze. He lost the girl, could not get over it, got in denial. Yeah, exactly. Her dead body, or at least the usual in the middle of the death scene. Yeah. I want my money back. Never got my hand egg. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, don't worry, guys. We're going to play another game later this week. Uh, hopefully tomorrow. I don't want to say tomorrow because then I'll jinx it. But I'm thinking either Clean Suit or Hell Knight. Uh, Clean Suit is like a text-based adventure game. Like someone's trying to invade your home and you kind of have to try to type things, try and figure out how to not die. The other is uh, Hell Knight or Dark Messiah in... Let me turn this down a bit. Um, Dark Messiah, which was a PS1 game uh, for kind of like a first-person horror game. You're in the Tokyo Underground. Um, there's a bunch of like um, crazy stuff going on. You're being pursued by a monster. It's got multiple endings, but there's really not too much information on it that I've seen. Most playthroughs that I've seen um, only seem to get like one or two different endings. It's, it's weird. I don't know. If one character dies, another takes their place. There's like a total of four characters, I think. It's pretty unique. It's a survival horror game. So we'll probably do Clean Suit first because that one's much shorter, but um, yeah, stuff to look forward to. You think you saw G John Wolf play Clean Suit? Yeah, I did too. In the first three minutes, I was like, okay, I gotta buy this. So, I haven't actually seen his playthrough, but I have seen, like, the first ten minutes. PS1 emulated? Yep. I, um, I don't know if it would even be possible to, um, capture PS1 footage without an emulator. Plus, I think the game, the, the ROM, the CD, whatever, it's actually hard to get a hold of. I actually had a bit of trouble finding the ROM. <laughs> Not that I'm a pirate or anything. Um... But yeah, so if you guys want to play it, I would actually recommend it. Uh, Clean Suit, however, is a PC game. So what did Chad do? Um, probably killed or hurt his girlfriend. That would explain why everyone was like, I haven't seen her, actually. I haven't seen her since last week. He probably followed her out, you know, and, and did something, came home, like somebody else said, drunk to forget it, drunk himself into a stupor, and either due to genetics, similar to his mom, or due to the alcohol, he forgot all about it and is wandering around looking for her. Yeah. Susie must have left him for a good reason. To be honest, I think Susie is probably not the best person, but then again, again, Chad didn't seem like, you know, a saint either. I just think that they were probably not very good for each other. She seemed a little bit shallow. Like, I think it's really bad taste to continue to wear jewelry that somebody gave you, even after you break up with them and, you know, get with someone else. Kind of gross. World of Horror is a fun game. Oh, did World of Horror come out? I heard it was an alpha or in beta, but is, is the game out yet? You are a cursory. They'd be called ISOs when you're hoisting that Jolly Roger. Uh, I think ISOs is for, like, PS2 games. I think ROM is for PS1, I think. Like, certain old games, it's called ROM, I think. I don't know. That's just from what I've observed. So, is the music really not looping? Okay, fine. You know what? We're just gonna... There we go. Well, there we go. I did get it on sale for, like, a Black Friday deal. And it, it certainly was... Was it better than A Date in the Park? I don't know if it was, but it, I certainly did like the art and the visuals and the cutscenes. The problem is, you know, when you hear David Lynch, you're probably not going to expect closure. So, ah, uh, let me get some music going. Hmm... Yeah, so I'll I'll try to stream tomorrow. There we go. Oh, you know what? Let me find that uh, one Halloween game somebody was asking for. The one where your parents are serial killers. That's going to be... What is that called? Before I forget, because I, I know I'll forget who asked that and, and uh, what I was supposed to do. Flash games, here we go. It is called... Trick or Treat Adventure! Exclamation mark. I think. I'm pretty sure that's the one. So there you go. A ROM is read-only memory, and it's how ripped files used to work. Images of, say, console cartridges. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I think ISO is like a disk image, and a ROM is like for the older games, which came from cartridges. I think, I think if it's a ripped DS game, it's a cartridge. You know, if it's like a PS2 ripped game, it's a ISO. Uh, if you're uh, still running a high temp, take it easy and rest. Yeah, that's what mostly what I've been doing. Um, 
I have been sick. I don't know, this sounds really weird, but whenever I get like really sick, like I can't really get out of bed, I start playing Dark Souls. Um, I actually made it farther than usual. I made it to uh, the catacombs this time. That hailbird is amazing. Um, it's not really good, good footage though. I don't think I would end up streaming that though. You missed the stream? Oh, don't worry. There's gonna be another one soon, and uh, this one is gonna get archived. It does take a little while for it to process, so here in about an hour or two, you'll see it appear on the channel. Can someone explain to me what happened? Okay, um, if anybody missed the stream, um, I'd mute it for like the next 20 seconds. I'll go ahead and explain the game. So, um, you're basically a high school guy. He acts like he's the quarterback, you know, he's this big, you know, big time quarterback guy. But it seems like his memory is faulty or he's just purposely misrepresenting because he appears to have gotten kicked out of the game, harmed the team in some way. S somebody may have died? I don't know. Um, but he's been replaced. His locker password doesn't work. He woke up from a drunken stupor and um, he's looking for his girlfriend and then he re remembers that his girlfriend left him for another guy. Apparently he went to go talk to her at some point. The timeline's a little fuzzy. Um, saw that she was wearing the necklace he gave her and then the, the final scene is just him in his room just, just bent over the box. And you see blood dripping on the box, so either that's his blood, maybe he's committing suicide, I don't know, or maybe it's her blood, maybe he took that necklace by force. So it's pretty open-ended, very kind of what the fuck just happened, which again, like if you've played the other game by the developers, is I knew what to expect, so I wasn't overly outraged like I was when I played a date in the park. Alright. Um, it, to be honest, I don't know if I'd say you missed a lot. I'd say 95% of the game was just me wandering around going, okay, so what now? <laughs> yeah, Potato Mom, that was a highlight. Glad to see you're back. Yep, I'm I'm hopefully back. I meant to be back a lot sooner. sooner. Uh, I kept planning to, but then I got sick, and it just didn't really let up, so. Um, maybe he killed the guy for kissing her and then her? I don't know if he killed the guy, because the guy walked into the party room and was like, what the fuck are you doing here? And then our guy ran away and met her alone. So, I guess she was there to think alone? Uh, I have a feeling he probably, if he did hurt her or kill her, it happened a while back, because everybody you talked to said, that's weird, I haven't seen her since last week. But, you know, maybe her parents are out. So, that means that he probably did this over the weekend or something, and then drank himself into a stupor, and then went there and forgot all about it. His dad died, his girlfriend left him, started drinking, got kicked out of the team, killed his girlfriend. Yeah, I bet his dad and his dog are dead, to be honest. He needs to see someone about that head of his, because either he's willfully forgetting it, and that's like a psychiatrist thing, or he's he's got some brain thing where he can just space out and, and blank on certain negative, uh, negative experiences. You know, that is the one good thing about an open-ended game. It gets people to talk about it and theorize. Um, I just wish it had more of a concrete ending, but then again, then we wouldn't be talking about it so much, would we? <laughs> Maybe he caught them together, that's why he was shirtless. I don't know if he was shirtless, I think it was just the pixelation, um, like his sleeves are um, kind of tan, and then the jacket itself is red, so it looked like maybe he was, or maybe it's the other way around. Yeah, but I, I don't know if he was shirtless though. I think it was just the pixelation. I'm not sure, maybe I, maybe I didn't notice. Let's see. Yeah, is it normal to lose all your memory from a hangover? I've never actually been hungover, so... Hmm, is the stream over? Yep, that's, uh... Yeah, that's generally what the, what the stream over means. Uh, but yeah, we've been going for about two hours now, so not too long of a stream, and hopefully there'll be another one soon. I'm, I'm trying to get back into it, um... Things are mostly calming down here. I had a lot of preparations to do, because, um... One of the people, one of the person, uh, a person I live with at least is, is, um, they wouldn't do so well if they got this flu, or not flu, this, uh, virus. So I had to basically get a bunch of stuff done to kind of convince them not to leave the house. You know, um, older people can be really stubborn about that. And it's, it's been like a freaking two to three month long process, but everything's good. Nobody's left the house in like 30 days. Plenty of food stocked up, plenty of toiletries. Um, we should be able to ride this out successfully, in my opinion. Although I have had a fever for the last two weeks, so maybe I've already got it. But then again, somebody else would have gotten it, so I don't know. I think it's just like a bad flu or a cold or something. 
immunocompromised, yes, and not to mention a cancer survivor, and not to mention a little older in the years, so I'm, I'm not gonna gamble with it. It's been taking out a lot of people, whether they're older or not, you know? So I, I think I saw the stats. Most of the people that had it are in their 30s to 40s or something. So I'm, I'm not going to be someone that says, oh, it'll be fine. Because the second I say that, I know it's going to, you know, do something. So hopefully you guys are, are okay. The highlight was the weird cheerleader stream um, scene. Yeah, yeah. I should make that the thumbnail. How did Manly Badass Hero complete the game in 50 minutes? Well, he probably doesn't like to click on everything multiple times the same way I do. Whenever I play point and click games, I have to look at it first and then try to interact with it. That's just what I always do for everything. So, um, I tend to drag a bit. Also, I was kind of interacting with the chat, so I've noticed it usually takes me like double the time most people uh, do. With heavy alcohol alcoholism, memory loss is common. It's likely it's being stacked with mental illness, maybe DID or some form of PTSD. Yeah, yeah, that guy needs to find help. It's overwhelmingly older immunocompromised folks. Yeah, exactly. So like I said, she's, um, I, I commented this earlier, like a couple hours ago, she's the poster child for, um, you know, being taken out by this thing. So I'm not taking any chances, you know. So I prepped, I stocked. Um, I put a little bit of uh, alcohol in a, an old perfume bottle and I spray the mail when it comes in and other than that, you know, we should be able to uh, make it out all right. Oh yeah, you know, that's a dumb, that's a dumb idea. Well, it's, I think it's a good idea, but then again, I think a lot of things are good ideas, but they're dumb. If you've got like an old spray bottle, like a perfume bottle, some body spritz or whatever, um, throw some alcohol in there. Um, like the isopropyl stuff, and then I just use it to kind of spray the mail when it comes in. Because like a lot of Amazon workers and postal workers are coming down with this, and that mail changes hands quite a bit. Um, I've heard this stuff can live for a while, and the crazy thing is, it's been 17 days since the Diamond Princess, the passengers, were let off, yet they're still finding living samples of that um, you-know-what in the cabins. 17 days. So I figure I'm not going to take the chance, I'm just going to spray everything a little bit. Oh well, just a little little uh, paranoid prepping. Uh, sprayable Lysol is good too. Man, I wish I had a bottle of that. That's one thing I didn't think about. I have a Lysol spray bottle just for that. See, you guys are ahead of the game. Also for shoe bottoms. Oh, that's also really good. And nice. I've just locked myself in my home. Yeah, hopefully you've got enough stuff to keep you com comfortable but I'm going kind of stir crazy. I'm worried about that too. That's why I named this the cabin fever stream. Uh, I'm not going crazy. This is just my regular existence, to be honest. <laughs> I prefer it this way. Um, but I was thinking uh, somebody had the good idea. Maybe we should do some movie streams or something. So once I get a bit more active back on Discord and with my messages, maybe I should stream a horror uh, movie or two. Somebody suggested Masters of Horror. So I think that might be a good idea. I just need to uh, start talking with people again and then touch base and check on everybody. A little bit of worrying is okay. Just be safe not to go overboard. Uh, actually, I kind of... Hmm. I've always liked the what would you do if it's an apocalypse scenario. Like when I was a kid, I used to read, you know, those zombie books and it's like, oh, choose your own path, see what happens. Will you make it? Will you not? Uh, I actually had a lot of fun with that. You know, I always liked the idea of, well, I talk a big, uh, I talk a lot, but would I actually survive under these circumstances? This is like the perfect chance to, to see, you know, how I do. Doing pretty good so far. I'm I'm not disappointed in myself, at least. So I'm I'm not worried too much. I'm safe in my home. Um, I I can at the very least still stream. So that's something. Doing exercises helps a lot. Yeah, I actually got a, a treadmill with my rainy day fund for that certain family member that likes to go out on walks or go out and shop. So at the very least, she can she can keep active. Yeah, Masters of Horror. That's it. Streaming movies is illegal. Oh, I wouldn't be streaming them on YouTube. It'd just be a little bit of watch party between friends. So, you know, that's about that. If you're not into that, I would recommend probably not having a look. Colorado is shut down. Oh, boy. Choose your own adventure. Yep. Don't forget to take some sun. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been getting a lot of sun. I might have to get some uh, vitamin D supplements. You have a great choose your own uh, adventure book that is literally you are a house tra house cat trying to survive the zombie apocalypse. It's amazing. That does sound fun. I always thought maybe it'd be fun to read a choose your own adventure book on a stream and then just have chat vote on what what you know way they want to go. 
on Discord? No, I wouldn't stream on Discord. It's an app called Cast, where basically you and a couple friends can watch something. There's also um, a website I used to use where it would stream YouTube videos and everybody could comment on the YouTube video, um, but you wouldn't actually be watching it on YouTube. Um, you would just go to the site and there would be a little chat room for the YouTube video being hosted on a different site. So I'll, I'll have to remember what that one was called. Uh, if you if you are curious, I think that one was, hmm, I left some comments around my Lakeview Cabin uh, contest, some links, that's the website I would use. Choose your own adventure stream would be fun. Yeah, I'll have to find one. Um, all the ones I used to read were owned by the library. There were some really screwed up ones though. I should, I should look in and try to get those. Maybe I could order one or two, who knows. Play AI Dungeon sometime? Yeah, that thing's a fever dream. I've been watching uh, Oni Plays do it. Let's see. SciTube also works with Google Drive or video distribution. Really? We'll have to go ahead and copy and paste that. Cast has been working pretty well. Um, I used that for Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. Um, and that worked out really well. But yeah, always looking for other options. Apparently people keep talking about something called Rabbit, but unfortunately Rabbit either sold out or, or went under or was bought out by Caster Cast. So that's kind of, you know, the closest thing you can get. Your grandfather used to illustrate the Choose Your Own Adventure books. Those were some crazy illustrations. I just remember that one where it was like a spy one, and um, you, you left the building following your suspicious roommate, but somehow he got behind you and just starts... Um, he has a, a garrot, or a garret, I guess, but I always say garret because nobody knows what a garrot is, and just like wraps the wire under your neck and he's just choking you out. It was those books that have a white cover with like some red on it, Choose Your Own Adventures. You know, they had like a hundred of them. Those are the ones that messed me up. Going live on Discord is good for streaming games, movies, websites. True, but I also don't want to get our Discord in trouble. I mean, it may not be an issue, but I'd rather just have some random site like Caster rather than putting the whole community uh, Discord at risk. I don't know, maybe. I, I Maybe people don't care, like, because again, um, a lot of the movies I watch are from like the 80s and 70s and 90s, so I don't think people are going to care too much, but... Hmm. Now that the Upper League update has come out, will you continue with Lakeview Valley? Oh, did it come out? That may be something to look into. Yeah. Huh. Is it complete or out of alpha, or is it just, you know, uh, being built upon? Hard to believe it's been almost six months since you hosted the trivia murder party on Halloween. Ugh. Yeah, time is flying way too fast for my... my liking. A jungle-themed uh, choose-your-own-adventure were impossible. You had a 1 in 5th chance of survival. Yeah, there's always like 20 ways to die and 3 ways to live. One of the ones that traumatized me as a kid was like the Arabian lamp one. It was like an Arabian genie and, and one of the options, you got stuck in the lamp with like 3 other people, like an Arabian princess and like 2 guys. And like one of the options was to blow out the flame in the middle of the lamp. And when you did that, you were just standing in the lamp in the dark, but you could see that everyone was just a skeleton and you were trapped in there forever. The end. It just scared the hell out of me. Uh, yeah, those books were fun. Got a dip from the stream by. Yeah, I've got to go soon, too. I gotta eat something. Um, One Cut of the Dead would be a good movie to watch. One Cut of the Dead. Why does that sound familiar? I'll copy and paste that and look that up later. You know what? Wreck or... Uh, what was the original one called? Wreck... Quarantino something. Um, those would be some good movies, I think. And so did you check to see if Lakeview Valley got any updates on the Upper League Demons? Uh, according to someone earlier in the chat, apparently it has in fact been updated. So I may it may be a good idea for me to go ahead and uh, dip in and take a little look-see. Yep, you want more people to know about it. Yeah. Wait. Know about... Wreck, yeah, that's it. Wreck, yes. Wreck 2, no. Remember that one Wreck? It was it was a Spanish one, not the English remakes, that took place at a freaking wedding. I remember not liking that one very much. I think there was actually like four Wreck movies, weren't they? Weren't there? Eh. Everybody really um, talks down about the remake of Wreck, but if you watch the remake first and then watch the original, it just gets better rather than getting good and then getting worse, you know what I mean? Like, I actually do like... Um, uh, the remake of Wreck, the American remake. It's not bad if you haven't seen the original. Um, so I recommend watching that one first and then seeing the original, and then you go, wow, the original's really good too. I mean, yeah. It doesn't disappoint you, I guess, if you do it that way. Wreck 3 is the one with the wedding. Yeah, that one's not great. 
The ending made me so mad. For Masters of Horror episodes, Fair-Haired Child would be a very good start. Okay. You know what? That is a good place to start. I'll put that down. Yeah. Maybe at the end of the week we can do that. What are your favorite horror comedies? Now that... Shaun of the Dead is like a staple, of course. Horror comedies... I know I've seen them, but... Hmm... Horror comedies... You know, someone suggested a movie, um, to me. It was, it was, uh, produced by, um, it's actually a free movie on YouTube, but it was produced by the guys that did, um, Toxic Avengers Troma or something. It's not made by Troma, but it's, like, geared in. Olron was the one that suggested it. That movie was, uh, horror, kind of, but also kind of funny. What was it called? I can't remember it, but it's, it's, the plotline was, I don't know. Um, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. I actually haven't seen that. I did see the an actor from Trucker, I'm um, sorry, Tucker and Dale in um, Escape Room. I actually watched Escape Room recently. I thought it was good. I mean, is it a masterpiece? I don't know, but it was well made. I liked the characters. I was invested. I liked the acting. It did kind of keep me guessing about who would make it and who wouldn't. I would actually recommend Escape Room. Yeah. Evil Dead is probably your favorite movie. Yeah, I've actually never seen Evil Dead one and two. I've only seen I've only seen Army of Darkness. And growing up, I only thought Army of Darkness was a standalone movie. I had no idea that it was part three to uh, Evil Dead one and two. <laughs> Over the Garden Wall would be a good stream. Yeah, I actually just saw that for the first time. Uh, I had a movie night with some friends uh, this past Halloween, and we watched it. Unfortunately, I won't be having any more movie nights with them for a while because we're all on uh, lockdown. But yeah. Over the Garden Wall was pretty good. Unfortunately, 10 minutes into that show, I blurted out what the ending was. I was like, oh, I know what's going on. And I blurted out and they just looked at me and I'm like, shut up. And I'm like, is it? Is it? Am I right? And I was right. I guessed it. <sighs> oh, Belko Experiment. Belko Experiment was a really freaking good movie. We had to watch that. Let me write that down. They actually had a VR escape the room game, you know, where you have 15 minutes to get out. I'm too scared to play it, though. I've gotten, like, two minutes in, and then I just give up, and I quit. <laughs> yeah, Belko Experiment's one to watch. I've been watching a lot of uh, Peter Cushing. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, Peter Cushing. Um, he's, I didn't really know who that was, but he's been on a lot of, like, 70s and 80s horror movies. Um, I've been watching the ones on YouTube, like um, The House That Dripped Blood, um, God, The Beast in the Basement, or something like that. He wasn't in that one. Um, but, like, the ones that have, like, little anthologies. Uh, Christopher Lee's been in a few, like, you know, where they're all meeting, and it turns out they're all dead, and it's just basically stories of how they died. Um, Dr. Dr. Terror was one, I believe. But yeah, there's there's some good stuff on YouTube that you can look for and find. Um, let's see. Yeah, Pencil did uh, Over the Garden Wall. That's a good one. Favorite scary movie. That's really hard. Um, I really, I was really, really liking, uh, what was it? Cabin in the Woods for a long time. Um, the Skeleton Key is a really underappreciated one. I don't know if I have, like, a favorite, though. I just have ones I really like and ones I don't. Since you're doing streams now, have you considered playing any of the Silent Hill games? <laughs> I've tried to play Silent Hill 1, and I'm just too scared. Silent Hill 3, I can kind of do, but that's only with, like, the, the early guns cheat code. Um, I am considering maybe doing, uh, one of the Resident Evils since they're coming out. Maybe a good idea. Who knows? One Cut of the Dead is about a film crew that wants to film a zombie movie, but then actual zombies show up, and then sanity takes place and it becomes a documentary. Really? Well, that is interesting. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. Peter Cushing movie, Horror Express. I think I saw that one. Horror Express. Let me Google that real quick. Hmm... Horror Express. I don't think I've seen that one. What the heck? Oh, no, I think I've seen it reviewed, though. I've heard it's not necessarily a very good movie, but, you know, it's just fun. It does have Christopher Lee in it. Yeah, yeah. Have you played any of the Zero Escape games? Yeah, wait, Zero Escape. Yeah, I played the first one. It was on um, the DS, right? Zero. It was Nine Doors, Nine Nine Persons, whatever. Nine doors, nine puzzles, nine persons. That's a really good game. I'd like to stream that. I haven't played it since, uh, like, junior high or something. 
Uh, yep, that's the one. I know they've had sequels, but after that, the sequel was on, like, uh, uh-oh. Whoops, <laughs> I just got onto my own stream there. Um, I heard the sequel was on, like, PSP, PSP Go, and I was like, I don't have one of those, what am I gonna do? So I just, I never played any of the games after it. It's a really good game, though. I should play PT. I don't think it's available anymore. Um, it was a PS4 exclusive, right? And then they removed the demo from the store, unfortunately. RE3 is out now if you want to be topical, or RE2 Remake if you want to be contrary. Yeah, um... I still want to play the originals first, but then I never do, and then I never end up playing anything. <laughs> You've heard Resident Evil 6 is a pretty spooky game. I've played 4, although only like halfway through, and I've played uh, the one in Africa. Um, I did beat that one. I really didn't find the fifth one that scary. I think that was because of the co-op, though. You remember playing Cry- uh, you remember Cry playing Cat Lady back in the day? Yeah, I played it too. I got a sorta of good ending, I guess. There's three of them. The sequel is on 3DS and the third is PS4. Hmm. They all have them on Steam. oh, they have them on Steam? I hate buying stuff again, I really do, but I might as well, I guess. Oh wait, what am I saying? I could just emulate the first one. <laughs> Uh, the Rusty Lake series. Yeah, actually, I bought one or I think like the first three of the Rusty Lake games on a Black Friday deal last year, so I have them on the computer. I think it'd be a good idea to, to whip those out if I'm ever, you know, not able to play a game. There's still a lot of people on the stream. What the heck? You know what? Since there are people here, maybe I should play a little trailer. Hmm... Yeah, I'm really excited to play Hell Knight. I've been wanting to play that for a long... Uh, I left this as a comment, but I don't know if anybody ever actually saw it. But Hell Knight was actually going to be the first game I played for this um, for my YouTube channel. But I was like, oh, it's so obscure. Nobody's going to bother clicking on it. And if they do, they're going to be looking for walkthroughs. They're not going to care about my Let's Play. So I ended up playing Mermaid Swamp instead. But I still really want to play it. Um, I could try... Maybe doing a... Like, I could play the trailer at least, surely, right? Yeah, let me have a look for that real quick. <laughs> You're gonna see how garbage it is. I mean, it's a typical PS1 game, what do you expect? No, not Hell Knight the movie. <laughs> what the heck is that, actually? That looks kind of... That looks hilarious. Hmm. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, yeah, here we go. I've got it. Damn, it's two minutes long. Okay, it's a long trailer, but if you guys are in the mood to laugh... Let me get this all set up. Hmm. You know what? Let me make sure... Yeah, give me one second here. Do not give me an ad. Okay, good. Okay, and I think we are good to go. Oh, okay, here we go. So, uh... I've got that up just to protect uh, my toolbars and stuff, and so nobody gets to see how many uh, dumb icons I've got on the toolbar, but here we go. And yeah, the quality's not great, but I think this was, you know, put on YouTube like 15 years ago, so... You're not gonna be able to see much, but... The whole storyline is apparently um, underneath Tokyo is a vast underground system, and it's just kind of got a bunch of weirdos in there. Like, we've got cult leaders, you've got underground bars, um, 
homeless people, vagrants, uh, criminals, etc. Except something gets loose in there. It's some kind of monster, and I won't go into details about what it is. I don't really remember anyway. But it's pursuing you through Tokyo Underground, and you've got support characters. You can't fight the monster, but there are four characters you come across, and they can either live or die. Uh, the first one you get is Naomi. If she ends up dying, then she gets replaced by a guy, and they each have their own special abilities. Um, all of them could make it, or all of them could die. There's a Russian guy, he's got like a RPG or something, flamethrower, I don't know. Um, most of the playthroughs I see involve um, the first two characters you meet, which is the schoolgirl and the guy in the blue trench coat with a gun. I don't see a lot with the reporter or the Russian guy, so I might let those two die and just play with the other two. There's multiple endings depending on who survives and what you do. So, yeah, I think it's pretty interesting. It looks familiar. Yeah, that's just like the typical PS1 look. Japanese PS1 look, anyway. It took place in a... I can't really read that. In an ordinary subway. A subway accident that look... That took the lives of something 56 people. The number of survivors remains unknown. You were involved in the accident. What you see is a gruesome scene. Tokyo Mesh. A large-scale underground shelter was built. I can't read that, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, but you can you can just Google um, Hell Knight game trailer and find it yourself. But this is what we'd be playing later in the week, probably after Clean Suit. Kind of a nuts fever dream thing. Yep, and you... <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that English. Um, yeah, so it's kind of weird looking, kind of spooky looking, but that's, you know. All right, so if you're interested in that, um, uh, hopefully be streaming that this week. <laughs> I might beat you to this and download, I mean, legally purchase it. Yeah, good luck. Um, I've had a heck of a time finding stuff ever since MU Paradise went down. Um, Cool Roms, I don't believe, had it. Oh, and... I think there's only a European version of the game. There's a Japanese version and a European uh, version. Uh, those are the only ROMs available. So if you're looking for American or USA or North American, whatever, you're not going to find it. You'll have to settle with the um, European. Hmm. Huh, you're suggesting D. I watched, um, yeah, I've seen that game. It's very similar in, in looks to what we just saw. Uh, I saw Oni Plays play it, you know, with the spaghetti hair. That game is freaking hilarious. Um... Maybe that's something to play for Halloween, I guess. Um, I don't know if it's... It's mostly just, you know, click around. It's more of an interactive movie than anything. But I think it was groundbreaking when it first came out. That whole wheel-turning thing um, and the time limit that ruins your whole game if you don't make it had me very nervous, though. So, I don't know about that, but... Are you going to play Nobody's Home? Nobody's Home. Nobody's Home. I haven't heard of that. Whoa, what is that? By Oats. Wait, that's the same guy that did that pizza game that got all my videos claimed. I wonder if they're still claimed. Um, yeah, I, the game was fun. I really did enjoy the, the pizza one. So I can give that a look. How much is it? $3. We'll see. We'll see. Um, that's something to think about. There's D2. Is there a D2? You're still hoping for Monkey Island? Ah, yeah, the third one would be the one that I would play. That's the one I grew up on. All right, this is the final goodbye. Your voice is enrapturing. I'm bummed about the YouTube notifications. Got me late. Yeah, sorry about that. If you're ever worried about coming late again, if, if I do stream, it's always going to be at 4.30, or in, if in case I'm late, 5. Um, but 4.30, so... Um, yeah, and, and I think on the Discord, people will usually notify. So the, the notify comes through on the Discord probably more reliably than YouTube does. Hopefully I can stream Clean Suit tomorrow. Probably. I don't foresee any issue, but who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll be sicker tomorrow. I doubt it, though. I've been, I've been getting a little bit better. Uh, are you going to play Clockwork? Wait, is that the PS1-styled game with the dolls? Clockwork. I think I saw Jacksepticeye play that. Hmm. It's not coming up. I mean, there's a, like a puzzle game from 2016, but I, I assume Clockwork is that PS, uh, PS1 kind of styled game. 
Games used to be so small. Yeah, yeah, they did. No delivery is still claimed? I think it is. Last I checked, but then again, I have been on hiatus. Let me have a look at my channel videos. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like they're claimed anymore. That's nice. If I go through my emails, I'm sure I'll find YouTube saying, oh, sorry about that, you know, sorry about claiming it for a month. And and to be honest, from what I heard, it was the um, game soundtrack guy signing with something or someone that did it automatically. So I don't think it was any, um, I doubt it was any ill will from the uh, content creator, developer, or the musicians. I think it was just YouTube system being dumb and, you know, victimizing people. So, uh, I just wish... That's Clock Tower SS. Clock Tower SS. Let me have a look at that. Clock Tower SS. Wait, Clock Tower? Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, Clock Tower is in the original Clock Tower. If I were going to play Clock Tower, it'd probably be Clock Tower 3, which is my favorite, or the Clock Tower that should have been Haunting Grounds. Um, I have tinkered around uh, using an emulator, the first clock tower, but I've never really gotten far. I just, I panic so much. Maybe that would be a fun, you know, tooling around stream, but I doubt I'd get very far. The SNES clock tower is the money one. Yeah. I actually really want to play the PS1 clock tower. You know, it was like the second one that came out. Not ghost head, never ghost head, but um, the, the kind of point and click one. If I could get that going on an emulator, hmm. But again, I would probably freak out and not be able to function. Haunting Grounds. That's a good, creepy, uncomfortable horror game. I actually played that when I was younger. Um, yeah, good stuff. I, re I had to watch a guide before I did anything. Like, I would do something and then stop the game and then look at a guide and then unpause it and continue. I did the same thing with Resident Evil 4. <sighs> oh, if you miss the stream, no worries. Um, it'll be uploaded on my channel after an hour or two. And... Um, um, yeah. What was I saying? Yeah, people are talking about Clock Tower, but there was there was a new PS1 uh, style game that, that has clockwork, clock something. Um, Jacksepticeye, I played it like two or three months ago. Let me see here. Anyone remember that um, it was like a PS... It wasn't by Puppet Combo, although it does... You'd think it was, you know what I mean? Something about clockwork dolls, mannequins, something. It was a demo. Yeah, you're right. I'm looking forward to when it fully comes out, though. Although, to be honest, it looks like an inventory... Um, What's the word? Not inventory management, but uh, resource management game where if you screw up, you're done. So uh, those make me very stressed and I, I have trouble playing them. Same thing with the first Resident Evil, you know. What was it called? Well, this is going to bother me forever. Maybe I can search for it. Nope. Hmm. I know he played it after Christmas. He played it after Death Stranding. Did I imagine it? Remothered is very CT inspired. Yeah, I watched uh, John Wolf play the first Remothered game. I hear there's a second one coming out, so I'm interested in that. There's a wretched PS2 sci-fi horror game that you tried to. Oh yeah, Lifeline. I've I've seen that. I remember hearing about that and and like oh I want to try that. Maybe someday I will try that. I also really want to play Re Michigan Report from Hell. I really like that game for some reason. Was it locked up? Oh, you know you might be right. Let me see. Locked up. 
That doesn't look like it. Let me mute it before anything happens. No, it's not locked up. What the heck? Did I imagine it? Am I getting it mixed up with Markiplier? I'm pretty sure it was Jack. Hmm. Oh well, I can't find it. I'll have to look for it offline and then, you know, post it later. Still, though. I think it was one of his- oh, three scary games! That explains why I can't find it. Okay. Okay, that narrows it down. That narrows it down. Hang on, we're gonna find this thing. Three scary games. Okay. Well. Quiet, Jack. I can't play you. Um, Alyssa. I think it's Alyssa. Let me mute him for a second. Yep, it's Alyssa. Crazy. Yeah, so that's A-L-I-S-A -S hyphen demo, and it's on uh, itch.io. That's something I'd want to try. Are you talking about the game The Dollhouse? It was a Three Scary Game thing. Yep, you are correct. It was part of his uh, Three Scary Games on February 8th, uh, My Sleep Paralysis Demon, Three Scary Games. It was the second one he played, like 20 minutes in. Crazy stuff. I really liked uh, how it looked. It really does capture the PS1 vibe so well. Like, if you were to play this and not tell them when it was made, they would come to the conclusion that it was an older game. Crazy stuff. Um... Have you tried Convenience Store? I saw Markiplier play it. Um, it does look like a pretty crazy game. Um, it looks like one you'd really have to try over and over again on, um, so it kind of stops being scary. Uh, if I weren't on hiatus, I probably would have played it. Uh, oh, and also, the people that made um, Red Manto, uh, Akamanto, they sent me a game for free to play, so that's another one I have to play in the future. Oh well, I gotta eat something. Uh, well, thank you so much for stopping by in the stream and uh, shooting the breeze. I'm glad everybody is, uh, you know, uh, chugging on. We may not be in perfect condition, but we're still we're still living, right? And that's what matters. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Wait, it got removed, right? A lot of controversy behind... You're right. In fact, I went ahead and paid attention to the controversy behind Devotion. The only thing Devotion did wrong, from what I understood it... Now, this is what I understood at the time. Maybe more stuff came out since then. But from what I understood, um, some documents inside referred to, I believe, Taiwan's... Um, the country of Taiwan's, uh, like, you know, national independence from China. And, of course, that really got China and some Chinese citizens and, you know, other people upset because there's a thing going around where they're like, oh, well, Taiwan is China. And Taiwan's like, no, we're Taiwan. And China's like, nah, you're China. And um, it, it, was, it was crazy stuff. Like, if you mention Taiwan being separate from China or that they're their own thing, people get just suddenly very, very um, aggressive. And in fact, if you want to see that happening, um, when was it, in the real world, there is an interview with someone from the World Health Organization, who that did an interview with someone from Hong Kong. And when that person said, oh, well, what about Taiwan? That person was like, oh, you mean China? And the interviewer was like, no, I mean Ch Taiwan. And the interviewer reached forward and just turned off the interview. Like he was afraid to talk about Taiwan. Oh, and he also said, oh, this is this is crazy. He he was also like, oh, well, I didn't actually hear the question, so let's just skip it and move on to a different question. And it's like, if you didn't hear the question, why do you want the question not to be said and to move on? And so when she asked the question again, like, you could actually see his arm raise up and turn the, the interview off, like, you know, end the Skype call. And then when they got him back, he was like, yeah, it looks like we dropped. And I'm like, it didn't drop. I saw you reach over and end it. <laughs> And this is happening in the World Health Organization. That guy's like a high-ranking official. So, yeah, I think that was the quote-unquote controversy. And, like, I don't know. Taiwan's allowed to say they're independent if they want. Mm. Ah, there's another game talking about that on Steam now. Critical played it. Oh, was that the one that was, like, a true hidden gem? I'm trying to find that one. I'm trying to find the full stream of that one, but I, I couldn't find it. Um, it was called, like... Hal, Hal Life, Half, um, not Half Life. It was really similar to Half Life, though. Let me let me look at the chat. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it offended the Chinese people. That's not hard to do, though, to be honest. Who was owned by China? They're not supposed to. I mean, I, that's the comment I read. I didn't just make that statement, but I would. I think. I think I kind of want to agree. They seem to be um, maybe quite a bit biased towards a certain certain nation. 
Ah, uh, let's see, exactly. She said, I'll ask it again. And he said, no, let's move on to another question. Yeah, exactly. Like, come on, man, why you gotta lie? At least be honest and say, listen, you know, this, you know, I'm not really allowed to talk about Taiwan. At least come out and be uh, upfront with it. Otherwise, you just kind of look skeevy. Ah, uh, Taiwan also claims mainland China is theirs, to be frank. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Um, yeah. Yeah, if he had said any, somebody says, um, if he had said anything even acknowledging there is a Taiwan, it had have been his ass. I believe you. I definitely believe you. I think the previous owner of who or like head of who was a Chinese national too or something like that. So unfortunately, it seems like there are some politics that may be biasing the company, unfortunately. And this goes both ways. Like if, if, and I, and I, I don't want anyone to think that I dislike China, but I do think there are some, like when you're a world health organization, the important thing is not what China wants. The important thing is the truth. And you, you can't really, I understand maybe they, they're, they're blackmailing you or they're paying you off, but you can't really be doing that. I think a lot of stuff's going to come to light after all this blows over. Oh, well, uh, Beholder 1 and 2 are good games on Steam. Beholder? I've heard that before. Is that the one where you go to a mansion that was owned by your family and it's like there's demons there? No, I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Quarter life. Full life quans- was it? Half light. Yeah, you got it. Half light. I want to see Critical's full stream on that, but I couldn't find it on Twitch. Does anyone know? Um... Does anyone know where to find that? Because, like, I had to stop watching his highlight video on YouTube because I was like, oh, I want to see the full playthrough of this. But I couldn't find it. Hmm. Did you win the game? Uh, we completed the game. I don't think there were any winners, per se, but yeah. Okay, they've got... They've got a stream up. Something. Maybe I can find it. Oh, well, maybe it's not up yet. But yeah, I would recommend looking at um, his uh, his critical, but I think his YouTube thing is Penguin z penguin with a Z and then zero. And then um, it, his latest video was like, uh, this game is a real gem or a real hidden gem. Pretty interesting. Uh, love the art look of the game. Um, is the game under fire for something? I know it's a Chinese game, or at least it may not be a Chinese game, but I know it's kind of like in that area. Um, but I, I wasn't aware that the game may be going through some kind of controversy. Does he have a stream archive? I have no idea. Um, I don't really follow him except for the highlights. And then if I see something and it's like, oh, I got to watch him play that, then I have to like find it. Darn critical. Oh, he's not putting titles up. Yeah, exactly. The winner is the guy who got the soda. No kidding. Oh, Broken Sword. Broken Sword, that's the one where that clown blows up a jewelry store. I got five minutes into that game, and then I was I was traveling at the time, so I was playing it on my laptop, and just stuff got crazy, and I never got to go more than five minutes into it. Yeah, I really want to play that. <laughs> Penguins Zero is his channel. Yeah, exactly. Just be careful. We're expecting the... Uh, Beer waifu to spread to the neighboring states of NY. Delaware police are stalking anyone without uh, Delaware license plates. And Philly has a shelter in place now. Same thing with my state. They're actually stopping people that don't have um, my state's license places and, like, trying to get them into quarantine. A lot of people from Louisiana, where it is kind of starting to be a hot spot, are um, coming over here. So, you know, crazy stuff. The game is an al allegory for the whole China thing, I think. Might be wrong. Oh, that's going to piss them off so much. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay, I'm, I'm rambling. I'm starting to, to speak my mind on political stuff, which is not a good idea. Um, all right, well, I do want to thank everybody for dropping by, and I hope everybody had fun with that fever dream of a game. Hopefully tomorrow we'll play Clean Suit, and then later in the week we'll play Hell Knight. Uh, be safe. Uh, make sure you're stocked up on, on you know, um, stuff that doesn't have um, a perishable shelf life. You know, spam. Here's my advice, right? Get some spam, and then cut it into small, uh, thin pieces, or, you know, flat pieces, you know, and then fry it up with something. And then you can serve it with, like, eggs or, you know, with pasta. If it's crunchy, like, you, you sear it until it's crunchy on both sides, it's really freaking good. Get some olive oil in there. 
So yeah, you can do a lot with canned goods and I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their day. Be safe. Um, how do I end the stream? I have already forgotten. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day. Be safe. See you probably tomorrow. Bye-bye.